I survived 50 hours in Better Minecraft Hardcore. Better Minecraft has everything you want in a mod pack. It's similar to the original game, simple to play, and still adds a bunch of new cool and useful features. This time I'm playing the new 1.20.1 Forge Edition, so there are a lot of things that have been added since the last video. In these 50 hours, I have a lot of things to do, some of which include finding the new villager types to get overpowered trades, entering into the deeper, darker dimension where I have to fight hordes of skulk mobs, and of course, I want to build a beautiful home with tons of cool new features. All of this while also trying to defeat the final boss, Ignis. Also, if you haven't checked out my new hoodie yet, make sure to do so. I was 100% involved with making it, from the design to the hoodie type, and I think it came out great. Anyways, without further ado everybody, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 50 hours in better Minecraft hardcore. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, he's whoa, 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 whoa. I did. Oh, oh, oh. oh, all right. Almost one shot me, of course. Go, go. We have to just jump at witches wherever we see them. Go. Oh boy, this is a massive cave. Look at this. Boom. One. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, no way. You're kidding me. All right, everybody, we're back in Better Minecraft. This time it's Better Minecraft 1.20.1, and I'm genuinely excited to play this. Our inventory HUD looks nice, and we also have our quest book, which we can take a look at, and it gives us some bread. We got some important controls here, which I'm mostly familiar with. Oh, and is that a, oh, rainbow birch sapling. Oh, we might want to grow this out and maybe I'll build part of my base with it because if you remember from season one of Better Minecraft, I built with Rainbow Eucalyptus. All right, we do have quests here, which we are gonna try to complete some. I'm thinking my main things I want to do is play around with figuring out villagers, maybe make a little village for ourselves. In the nether, I want to defeat the Ignis boss probably. And also if we can go to the other side, that would be great. But uh, we got to take it one step at a time, folks. Hello, gatekeeper. Blue journal. Bam. We can buy that. And that unlocks this arc page where we can get special items that will buff us up. We are in the middle of a bunch of snow here, though, which I don't like. I do see potentially a village over there. So let's head over to our west. Looks like we got a very interesting looking village. There is a bunch of stone here, so I'm going to take the opportunity to make ourselves a full set of stone tools. And you know what, for simplicity's sake, I'm only going to use an axe for now instead of making a sword as well. And red mushrooms, enchanting bottle, and you know how I feel about bookshelves. I gotta grab them every time I see them. I'm gonna grab a couple of potatoes from these fellas. So I think we should just venture onwards, and when the sun comes down, I will sleep as well. Do we have anything in here? Hello. You know, theoretically, I'm supposed to save the villager here, but I'm too lazy, so... I'll give this villager a way out, even though he probably has no idea how to go up. Ooh, hello. Beautiful golden apple. Vegetables. Serve size, one serve. Nutrition, 10 per serve. Yeah, it looks like there's nutrition built into this pack. Oh, wait, hold on. I mean, I got a weakness potion here, so... Why don't we convert this fella? And then... Oh, that's so loud every time. But anyways, we did that. This is kind of making me want to bring these villagers out of here. I do feel for you guys, you know? Let's make a path for you folks. If you can fit your foreheads through this, I hope you can. I did say that I want to do a lot of villager stuff in these 50 hours, so I figure we should stick to that, you know? Is it the surface already? It is, it is. We might need to make them follow us with a profession block. I think she's going for it, yeah. So we're gonna be able to get you out of here. What is your name? Laverne, interesting name. Laverne, you should come up here. Yes, you are already doing so, very nice. Okay, now how do I guide you guys to the village? Here we go, are you gonna follow that? Sabina's coming. So we're just gonna use this for one of the villagers at a time and slowly bring them both where we need them. I do think we might need to create some new profession blocks for the villagers if they want to stay here. So you know what? Sabina, you can officially become, I don't know what you call this profession, but you can become it, okay? Alchemist, something like that. Okay, now I'm thinking we can create a barrel. 
And let's just bring Lavern a little bit closer here. Cool, 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 cool. So we have brought these two villagers out of captivity. Well, I'd like to see what else we have around us. So let us do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, my food's starting to grow low, folks. I honestly was not expecting to be left with so much snow. I do see some fish on our mini-map. So even though I hate to do it, we might need to hit him with a quick one-two, you know? You know what? I think I've had enough fish. I think we're good. Hello, Wolfies. I don't have any... Oh, I have one bone. Can we tame a wolf with one bone? Oh, best friends forever. Yeah, see, that's... When, when you are able to tame an animal with one item, that's when it's actually meant to be. <gasps> and I actually do seem to see non-snow area, finally. Oh, that's kind of a cool area. So much so that I think that is where we should set up. I guess building a house to start would be nice. And then from there, we can build some more areas like a watchtower, maybe, and have a bridge go through. We'll start off by making some chests because I really need storage. Bam, and we're gonna fill that up completely. I'll also place down our furnaces and we can get our salmon smelting. It would probably be a good thing to start up a little farm for ourselves. So I'll just go water and then boop 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 and we'll start planting stuff down okay with that let's head out quick and that area seems to have a lot of trees so we can check that out first Ooh, also i should grab a bed because i do not want to be left out in the night alone Ooh, and we got a waystone here that's nice i'm gonna take that and bring that to our home you know what folks we might just have to go with using spruce right now because i'm not finding any other wood types Okay, I'm heading back home then. And you know what? We might even end up getting more votes to use oak. You know, just because oak has a very clean aesthetic. Uh, you know what? I will mark this down on the map as house rather than home. Okay, I'm gonna set this waystone here, home. And I see like a witch hut area over there. We can try to explore that because right now what we essentially need is to find a bunch of food. And then after that, our next mission will be mining probably. Welcome to Dungeons and Taverns. Safe Haven, find a tavern. Well, I mean, there's food here, that's for sure. Call for adventure. Acquire a tavern quest map. Whoa, okay, interesting. Creeping crypt map. Okay, we're gonna look for that later on. That sounds good. Ooh, we got a bunch of hay bales down here and wheat, bread. Ooh, okay. Yep, boom, a stack of bread, just like that. Yeah, that works for me. Alrighty, nice. Let's head back to our house area. And I mean, we were talking about other woods. Technically this fir log is a different type of wood. We could use that. And I think we should start building a little outline for our house. We wanna have this nice ocean or lakeside view basically. So that should be incorporated into the design. But I do think it might be cool to have like a cornered window here. So to make that happen, kind of create a corner. And I think I'm making a much bigger house than I first anticipated. There's the house layout. Hold on. Let me fill that in with cobblestone and see how it's looking. Need more of the cobblestone. Oh, I'm out of cobblestone. Okay. Well, that's a sign that we should go mining. I'm sure the outline will be great. Hello? Is this a cave opening? It might be. Oh, all right. I keep finding dead ends, unfortunately. Hello, here's an opening. Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm digging down. I don't care anymore. Oh. Iron. <laughs> we found iron, folks. I'm going to start smelting this stuff up and we're gonna get an iron pickaxe going. Aha, here we go, here's the cave opening. And you know what we will also do is we are gonna make a wooden shield. Oop, and I can't do it with that wood. Good thing we have oak. Oh, no, you can't do it with that either. Wait, how do you make a shield in this pack? Okay, we need four iron. Very well then, let's make the new shield. There we go. There is our new iron pickaxe, very nice. Hello, oh, we got more iron here. And I might be seeing a mine shaft on our map here. So I'll start mining towards that. There we go. There's the mine shaft. Okay. Using this iron, I should probably just craft up a iron chest plate for ourselves. Here we go. 
Oh boy. I'm just gonna mine, smelt, and get full iron armor and tools, basically. Bam, full armor and full tools as well. Now I'm full iron, so we can start heading down lower and looking for some diamonds. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness. Look at the spawner. Looks so cool. Now, is there anything to do with spawners in this pack? There is. Monstrous spawner. Interact with spawn eggs. That's mob type. So can we literally just pick up spawners in this pack? Nope. Okay, pretty mediocre loot. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. At least there's not chests overflowing with random things. Oh, no. Wait, I might have figured it out. You have to block and then hit. Okay, hold on. We're going to have to do the slab thing below. Oh, did it lose its head? Gotcha. Whoa, elastic tendon, dude. That's so weird. What do you do with this? Tendon whip. Interesting. You can probably uh, fire it just like it does with its head. If you look on the minimap, though, I see wither skeletons. Wow. Okay. Look at this. This is like a, a whole ancient city of its own. Okay. Well, let's definitely mark this down. Wither building. We'll be back. I'm definitely not ready for this at all. You know what I heard? I heard if, if you guys right now go and, you know, hit the like button and, you know, subscribe, maybe comment, it'll increase my chances of finding a diamond. You know, I think that that's just what I heard personally. Okay, somebody had to have clicked the like button. I like that very much. Thank you. Shall we cherish these diamonds? Let's see how many there are. This is the good old... Oh, it's gonna be one. Oh, it's two. Okay, I'm already happy with that. I'm doing the good old mining all around the diamonds to see how many you got. It's more satisfying when you have a fortune three pickaxe to finish it off. Oh, you know what? The funny thing is, if I didn't do this, I might have not found that diamond because it's diagonal. And after needlessly clearing out the area, we have three diamonds. It may, in fact, be worth making a diamond pickaxe right away. We might as well just mine quicker right now rather than waiting. This is a huge caving system. Like, I'm getting tired of mining at this point, but it's hard to stop. Oh, it's a goblin trader. Hey, Harry, here, take my iron. He's doubled my iron. Thank you very much, Harry. Oh boy, this is a massive cave. Look at this. Whoa. Okay. Well, this is where things get pretty dangerous, isn't it now? Oh, I see diamonds. Oh, yeah. Now we can pick up the sacred diamonds, I think. Gimme, gimme. That's one. Let me make sure that I'm actually picking them up here. Nothing around this diamond. Okay. And that's an individual diamond as well. You know what? That's a lot better than nothing. Oh, and there's a spawner here. What do we got here? We got a music disc style. We will pick up any music disc we get. That's for sure. What else? Iron horse armor. We'll get that too, I guess. Making a mob spawner would be nice. I don't know if we should use one of these or if we should just make one using pure darkness, not any spawners. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to try to find the rest of the diamonds that I want. And then I'll return to the surface. Oh, I found diamonds. Okay, you know what? With this, even if it's one, I'm good to return home. Yes, okay, that's it. Oh, there's another one that I missed, okay. Oh, man, that's lava. Well, I would like to get obsidian before we head up to the surface if possible, so let me see if I can get above this lava. Oh, and I just ran into more diamonds while trying to get to this lava lake that I see on the map. That works for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here we go. Here's a bunch of lava, which isn't ideal without his, but you know what? It works for me. I'll just do that and I'll get to mining. Okay, I got 20 obsidian, which is a little bit over what we needed. I was aiming for 18, but uh, you know what? Too much obsidian is not a problem for me. So let us head back up to the surface. Hello universe, I'm back and I have one piece of bread left, uh, which that does not feel good, but it looks like, yeah, we're right where our home is. How beautiful is that? And I should have been collecting cobblestone that whole time, but I failed to do so. Oh, I'm a smart guy. Hello birdie. Oh, do I have any seeds for it? I wonder if I can tame it or anything. Maybe I can, hold on. Hey, Blue Jay. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that, it locates mobs. 
Whoa, that's so cool. I will start smelting the additional iron we've got. And I do reckon there are a couple of things we need to do. I mean, we definitely need to keep building our house here. But before then, it might be a good idea to get a source of food going because, yeah, I'm not doing too well on the front of food right now. Let's see, what do we want to do? I think it might be nice if we have a farm area down here. We are going to need to scope the area a little bit so it fits our farming better because right now it's pretty random but maybe if we place dirt all along the shore here that would be nice and then we can make a staircase up to our house so in that case you know what i'm gonna make a diamond shovel and you know what else i should probably make is a enchanting table because we have everything we need boom oh i can get efficiency too on the shovel why not unbreaking that's pretty good power all right that's some good upgrades okay i can get dirt from here maybe why not Got some dirt, and we shall now place it down right here. And I'll also remove the gravel here and replace it with dirt. Okay, well, this definitely gives us some room to start out our farm. And I would like to make the staircase going down to it. And there you go. I have a full staircase going down. You know what? Maybe we can lay out a walkway with some oak slabs. That way, we're not going to be trampling our crops every time we come here. And let's see. I believe each water source activates either three or four four blocks away from it. I need to check up on that. Okay, we are going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four all around. Okay, it seems to be doing it. It seems to be working just fine. Now we have part one of our farm here. We probably want to outline it. And same goes for on the outside layer here. And you know what? If I really want to make our farm efficient, I should probably make sure that this is all fertilized as well. Now, we could make this a wheat farm because I think wheat is going to be the most valuable crop early on since we're going to want to start some animal farms as well. Now, we need to figure out this house situation because right now, it's not, not looking too good. All right. Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have the urge to use Deep Slate for this build and I tested it out a bit. It looks pretty nice. So, what we're going to do is replace these logs with spruce ones. There we go. We got the spruce laid out and now I'm going to start filling this outline in with deep slate bricks. Okay, I did run out, but it's starting to come together here. I'm going to need to build a foundation for the house because it's not very even, but I've decided that this will be the bottom layer here. So I guess that means we need to go out and collect some deep slate. Before doing that, though, we can use our bones to bone meal a bunch of crops and get some food. And you know what? In light of this discovery that I have bones and can bone meal crops, we should probably extend our farm to make a separate potato farm. Okay, there we go. I have a whole new section and this is where we can start growing out potatoes. And also before we head down, you know what? I will enchant our armor slightly just so that I can feel a little bit safer. And you know what? I'm gonna make a diamond sword to enchant. All right, let us head on down. And I kind of have a cool idea. There's a little spot in this cliff here where we could carve out a mine shaft for ourselves. It's kind of like a secret entrance, although I'm not necessarily necessarily gonna hide it or anything and down we go And there we go. We've hit deep slate. Not only that, looks like we have hit a cave, which isn't necessarily ideal. Now that that's done, I can mine out deep slate because that's what we initially came here to do. And I found diamonds. Oh, it's looking like an eight vein. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Okay, I got about five and a little bit more stacks of deep slate. And I think that'll be enough to get us started. So I'm going to head back up. I'm back. Oh, and this is still here. We can get rid of that now. All right, so let's turn these into deep slate bricks. There we go. And I can finish this up real quick. Perfecto. Now the question is, how do we want to continue the walls here? Do we want to just keep using deep slate bricks or do we want to switch it up? I'm thinking we might want to switch it up. But before we get into doing that, we should finish building up these corner pieces. So I will make them all three high for now. Bam, there we go. Okay, all three high. Now for this part here, 
there. Maybe we can use spruce planks to fill this in. Oh, also, you know what? We should make a spyglass. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a zoom that we can carry around with us now. Okay, let me go get this spruce wood. Oh, spruce. <laughs> oh, and I broke my ax. Okay, I did not expect that to happen. All right, let's fill in this area and we can kind of end up treating this like a basement because it'd be pretty cool to have a basement to be honest. Oh yeah, that's working. I like it. Yeah, I feel like doing just bricks for the rest of the walls would be a bit boring. So maybe what we can do here is make use of polished deep slate. How's that looking? Hmm, debatable. Okay, fine. How would spruce look? You know what? It's just right. It's, it's right. And I have an idea for how we can make it look better between these. We can replace this part with the polished deep slate we were using. And we will take this out as well. Okay, now I will fill this in, like I said, and I'm sticking with the decision no matter what, okay? Okay, now we fill in all of the walls. Okay, how are we looking? How are we looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. And now, how do we want our entrance to look? I actually think it'd be pretty cool if we had a staircase going up and had a set of doors. And maybe we can extend out a little section here to do exactly that. We will have it go up like so. Then we can make a set of doors. Perfect. And I guess now it's time to figure out a little bit of a floor design for the inside here. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's outline this with these deep slate bricks, first of all. There we go. That's an outline with these bricks. And then we need to make a carpenter's workbench. Boom, carpenter's table. I am tempted to use oak just to switch it up on the inside, like these framed oak planks, maybe. I mean, I think this could be pretty cool. So yeah, let us transform all of these into framed planks. And boom, there we go, all filled in. Yeah, we're looking good, I like this. We have a nice entryway in the front that uh, we can definitely finish up but I think the framework's looking really good. Uh, I think we can probably finish up the entryway here, except it does seem that I'm gonna need to get more spruce logs because I've converted all of them. So let me quickly do that. All right, that'll do, two and a half stacks. Okay, let's see here. I will build these up. And how do we want to finish this design? I think we can use some deep slate slabs, maybe over top like so. I don't know if this will end up being a bad choice later, but for now, this seems like a pretty cool thing to do. And then on the sides here, maybe what I'll do is I'm just gonna use actual logs. There we go. I think that as we continue to build this house up, it's gonna get better and better. For now, I'm happy with this kind of first state that we have it in. So I will light up that front and I should also light the full area around as well. And you know what? I'm just gonna make a whole new pickaxe because literally, why not? And we can also enchant it once again. Efficiency, thank you. Okay, let's go. Diamonds, go to our little secret cave segment here. Here, and we should just be able to jump right on down. Okay, from what I read, it seems like Y level negative 53 is the best Y level, which is a lot lower than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna need to get some more ladders and then we're gonna mine down. Um, excuse me. Um, okay, I mean, you know what? This is our new goat. Okay, his name's Billy. There we go. Oh, no Billy, back in. There we go. Billy the goat. Okay, we're gonna have to figure something out with Billy the goat, but for now, we're just gonna keep him there. Now we can remove the water and we shall start mining downwards. Oh boy. Oh! Oh my God, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm okay. I don't have any golden apples, dude. That was such a bad fall and I did not have my water bucket in my inventory. That was terrifying. I guess I should try to build some walls up so that we can safely come up and down. Okay, there we go. Let's build up this ladder. And now I'll just light it up. Boom, perfect. Y level negative 55, I think this is a good level to strip mine at. Oh, and not bad at all. We already found some diamonds, here we go. Ooh, 
already another vein. More diamonds. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. We're up to 19 diamonds now, which is pretty good, but I'm going to keep going. Thank you. Oh, diamonds. Now I'm at 24, which is enough to make a full set of armor. We just need a little bit more so we can make an axe and maybe some diamonds for repair because, uh, well, we're going to end up needing a new pickaxe. So, I mean, about six more diamonds and we should be good to go for now. Uh-huh. And that looks to be a perfect vein of six diamonds right there. Boom. We're up to 30. And with that, I'm good to head back home. And up we go. Okay, well, we're back. And since we have the diamonds, I think we should just go for it and make ourselves a full set of diamond armor. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Now, I'd like to start figuring out how we want to set up our village soon. However, before we do that, I'm kind of getting the urge to check out the nether and see if we can just get some blaze rods and start uh, progressing to the end. Because if we can kind of speed run that part, that would be awesome. We can probably build this portal into the wall here. Bam. Now the portal is open. That's it. Okay. Ooh. And by the way, before I forget, let me mark this down as portal. Oh, those are drop bears over there. Those are really dangerous, guys. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them here. Oh, we don't want to be in this biome. This is a really bad biome to be in. Get me away. We're still in the same biome, which worries me. Yeah, there are a bunch of these drop bear guys here. Like, look at that. If that drops down on you, oh my god. Uh, maybe I can try going even further down. That's definitely a strategy. So <laughs> I'm going to keep trying my best. Okay, I've made it to the surface of a crimson forest here. Oh, hello. The nether is very, very unfriendly. That's that's for sure. Will I be able to find another fortress is a good question. There's some structures down there, but that's not really what we're looking for. I guess I'll check it out. Let's see here. Do we have any loot worth taking? Bastion remnant map. Not necessarily bad. Repairman. Repairs all items with mending in a backpack when collecting experience. That's an interesting achievement. Ooh, I see something over this way. It does look like it's another fortress. There's just this bit here, but I think I might know what that is. So let's head over in that direction. Yeah, terrible fortress. There it is. And we got a blaze spawner right here. Awesome. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, run, run, run. Oh, oh, that was way too close. Holy moly. There is a wither skeleton right outside of this right now. Wow, blazes do a lot more damage than I remember them doing. Okay, you know what? I'm not loving this whole thing here. I don't really like getting ganged up on. Problem is, they're just floating. I can't even get to them. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with that anymore. And on that note, how many do I have? Six. Okay, if I could get one more, that would be perfect. Oh, there we go. Seven. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Oh, and I think I've reached our tunnel here, which it's kind of hard to believe. Yeah, I have. Wow. Feels good to be on the way back home. That was definitely the most stressful thing I've done so far. <laughs> but this leaves us in a great position to advance into the end when we get enough ender pearls. Get me out of here, please. Oh, oh, that was a drop bear. Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Please don't follow me into the, the overworld. <gasps> See, they just sneak up on you like that, man. Good thing I had my shield out. Otherwise, I could have just got eliminated. <gasps> oh, 
that's terrible. That is terrifying. Okay, well, after that right there, I'd like to do some more home-based stuff. I'd like to continue building our house, so we'll do that. But also, I'd like to start getting ready for a level 30 enchanting table because I love my enchanting. So what we can do is plant down some of the sugar cane, first of all. And you know what? I'll just plant it down over on that side. All of the sugar cane is growing. And now we should plan out where we want to have a cow farm at. By the way, if I'm, I'm looking at my map and I see that a bunch of cows have spawned around here, which is perfect. I also see pigs and I saw chickens earlier. So we have a good amount of animals all around us. So I want to build our animal farms, but I also want to do them in a slightly more interesting way than the typical type of animal farm. I've had a couple of ideas. One was building it with glass up here and maybe making it a circle and then dividing the animals between it. But I feel like that's not the best idea. And then my other idea is to have it kind of meld into the ground. Maybe we can use wool carpet or something so that you can fall in and then we can have a ladder so you can crawl out. But it'll be kind of a hidden animal farm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to head into the nether and we're going to farm up nether quartz because that is going to give us an insane amount of levels. I'm going to use the tunnel that we have so famously built and I will also block lock this off because these drop bears are getting out of hand still. This is going to have to do for now. Anyways, let us start uh, getting quartz. And I'm at level 33, so I think with that, we shall head back. Oh, I'm a really smart cat, aren't I? I got all these levels, but I don't have the leather. What, I need 45 leather? How could I get so confused by myself? Well, it's not the worst case ever, because what I can try to do is test my luck at adventuring for a little bit. And I do know that there are some pretty special structures you can find in this pack. So within those, we might find a bunch of bookshelves, actually, in which case I I think we should just venture out for a little bit. And along the way, what I'll do actually is I will bring my saddle and horse armor because we might find a horse along the way. Bam, bam. All right, perfect. Here we go. We got some horses. Hello, fellas. I can see their speed statistics. This horse seems to be the fastest, which means, my friend, you will be selected. There we go. And bam, bam. We are ready to go. Yeah, it's looking like I might have to source my leather in some other ways, you know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fellas. These are cool trees, by the way, Jacaranda. We should probably just grab this so we can have the saplings in case we want to use them. What do the planks look like? They're pretty plain and they're not purple very much, but uh, who knows? We might use them. I've got a spawner here. I find these every now and then, which uh, they're pretty strange. I guess actually the one benefit is this could let you build an above ground spawner. Oh my God. Did we just find a woodland mansion? That's pretty crazy to find this early on. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to mark this down. Mansion. And that's something that we will return to. I've found a sign here while I'm doing what I'm doing. 600 blocks this way. Let's see. It's probably going to be some kind of an elegir structure. Oh my goodness. That could have been so bad. Are you kidding me? Oh, and I'm getting shot. Goodness. Oh boy. This is not the situation you want to be in with your horse, is it? Oh, why are you trying to... No! No! And let's see, if I build out a stairway with one block each, will the horse be able to go upwards? Let's see if this will work, what I've got so far. Maybe, might need to improvise a little bit. And let's see here. I did not think it was possible, but we made it up to the surface. We did it. That took a while, but you know what? At least we're keeping our loyal horse. Oh, hold on. I just saw something pretty interesting on the map. Uh, is that another woodland mansion or is that another building? I almost feel like it is something different. Rent. Whoa. Oh, look on the inside on the map. It has a bunch of witches and slimes. Okay. Well, this interests me. I know for a fact me fighting witches, uh, it's not going to go down too well. But you know what? I'll mark it down and we can adventure through a little bit. Witch building. Boom. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's try to head in here real quick just to take a little, little peek. Okay. I'm still not seeing anybody. This is sketchy. I don't have any torches to really help us out. Okay, ooh, music disc wait. 
gas tier and some other materials for brewing, including turtle scoots. I feel like these are rare, huh? I don't know exactly, but I am curious. Curious, so I'm gonna take that. More barrels, more random gear. Name tags, that's good. <gasps> Ooh, smithing template, sentry armor trim. Look at that. I wonder if there are any trims added from mods. Now, what do we got going on over this way? There's some heightened tower. I hear a witch multiple even whoa and look at this is this all a part of it holy moly i mean this almost feels like a great place to set up our base hey how am i already getting potioned on excuse me oh my god you douchebag you poisoned both of us you did it you did you, you poisoned both of us i hope you're happy okay go 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 we have to just jump at witches wherever we see them Go. Okay, I'm just gonna eat another golden apple because if they throw an instant damage potion at me, I would be dead. Also, there's bookshelves here. <gasps> okay, I'm heading down. Oh yeah, here we go. More books and more books in barrels as well. We're already definitely up to 45 that we can make, so we are good to go. Oh, some enchanted books here. Not that great, but that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, my curiosity is going to get me in danger though because I want to see what else we can find here. Oh boy. That's a poison potion. All right. All right. All right. We're leaving. See, this is... Oh, boy. This is when things get very dangerous. Okay. I am officially okay, I believe. We got two stacks of books and some emeralds from that. I think it's time that we head back home. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. Ooh, umbrin log. This is a new type of wood. So I might as well take it with us. Got another little witch village here, which is cool, but I'm guessing the loot's gonna be the same. Let's have a look. I see a chest right here, actually. Oh, oh, I was wrong. I don't need the iron stuff really, but the diamonds, oh. Okay, that's a lot of diamond from a random little witch village thing. Oh, hello. Feels good to be back. For now, if we can, let's just bring our horse with us. Can we do that? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And we got two stacks of books. So with that, we can make the enchanting table that we wanted to. How amazing is that? Bam, 20 bookshelves. Why not? And I guess we can put the enchanting table right over here. Boop. And we will go around like so. Okay, I misplaced this one, but that should give us level 30. Boom. Yes, it does. Now what? We wanted to enchant tools. That's right. I remember luckily. And you know what we should probably do is just combine all of our pickaxes like so. Bam. Now we have a pretty fresh pickaxe that we can enchant. And that's going to give us efficiency for unbreaking three, fortune three, vein mind. <laughs> Are you serious? That's the most insane enchantment we could have gotten. I almost feel like the enchantments are rigged. Wow. Okay, now we want to do the shovel. I won't even be mad if we don't. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like the enchantments have to be rigged, dude. How can they be that good? Okay, well, this one gets fortune too. So maybe they're not that rigged. Maybe I... we're going to have to see because I just got really lucky, dude. I do need a, a, a name for these fellas, don't I? Okay, fine. And you don't even have to use an anvil, which is perfect. So what do we want to name our wolf? I don't know. I like Buddy. I just like naming my wolf Buddy, you know? So boom, Buddy. And then with our horse, Zeus. I love the name Zeus. Zeus and Buddy. That's our, our pets. Okay, anyways, now that we have the two tools that, that I was impatient to get, I should be able to start work on these animal farms. Now, also, it gets really dark for me, and I don't think I have any torches left. So you know what? I'm going to quickly head down, and I am going to mine for some coal. I need it that badly. And we probably want to get to, like, Y level 13 for this, because coal spawns at more natural Y levels. Yeah, so about here. Okay, you know what we can do is dig out a hole here. Ah, here we go. Can I find any coal? Yes, I already see some. But first of all, I'm gonna take you out there, fella. And yeah, we can get to mining. And now I believe so, I have vein mining now, which means if I hold down E, boom. Yeah, now we can just go boop. And there we go, we got all the iron. And I'm gonna get us some coal. Oh, look at this hefty cave. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Well, let's get to work figuring this animal farm area out right now. I think we will clear out a kind of rectangular area right here. Okay, 
I've marked out the corners mostly, and now I'm just gonna have to clear all of this out. Okay, there we go. I've dug out a little hole here. So I think another thing we could do is just have glass covering it. And then in one little section, we'll have carpet, which is where the entrance will be. Now we have a lot of options as to what type of glass we want to use, what type of carpet we want to use maybe even. Yeah, I mean, there are actually variations on carpet, which is funny. Okay. Now, we're definitely going to want the floor to be made of grass. Okay. Bam. I've filled in both sides with grass, and I'm thinking we still want to keep a strip of regular blocks in the middle. I'm also testing to see if this grass can actually grow back because we are in this kind of dead-looking biome, which I hope doesn't affect our crops, although it might. I am tempted to use this umbrin wood because it is very unique and it might still match this kind of dark theme we have going on and yeah i mean i'm happy to use some of these new wood types we're getting in this pack let's see i'll make 60 slabs for now Wow, I like it. I think this fits really well with uh, both of these colors that we have going on. So I think we should stick with it. Okay, I'm gonna finish filling the wood in real quick. Here we go. And then I do feel like we want another type of block here to kind of counterbalance this. It's possible cobblestone might look good. I mean, it's kind of looking good, but I'm starting to have concerns about our layout here because how are we gonna carry this forward? I guess we would transform this into into the flooring as well. Okay, and I'll add the walls. There we go. Yeah, this is looking all right. And then we're gonna need to split these areas up, but I'll do that in a moment. I wanna decide on what we wanna design these walls. For this side, we can probably just use these deep slate blocks and continue the logs down. There we go, that's this wall working. I like it. I'm thinking for the rest of these walls, we can just use spruce planks, to be honest. If we really want, we could switch up the variation of spruce plank, but otherwise, I think that's a good plan. Let's see here if there's anything else we really want to use. Maybe like mosaic, that could be interesting. I'll start testing it on this wall. Let's see. Pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm good with that. That's what we are gonna roll with. Let's make some more of these and I'm gonna get to work finishing up the rest of it. Okay, bam. Okay, now we need a type of glass that we wanna use. And I'd kind of like a sleek look, but I don't know if there are any such options. Midnight glass, that's a pretty cool version. Look at this. Only issue is it's in the blue skies dimension, but we already have the resources to make such a portal, I believe. So we need this zeal lighter. We need to buy one. Let's see, we can find another one of the gatekeeper structures we've ran into before. Oh, okay, there is a gatekeeper tower right there, I believe. Okay, here I am, here I am. Uh, now the gatekeeper is here. Let's see if I can trade him. I don't know if he needs emeralds. Oh, yes, he needs emeralds. Here we go, zeal lighter, bam, perfect. So with that, we can already head straight back home and activate this portal. Okay, let's uh, place this portal, probably close to our nether portal. Let's just break this wall out and then we can place it right beside. Boom. Okay, Everdawn Dimension has been activated, which I'm a little bit scared of. Oh yeah, looks pretty similar to when I was here last time. I wonder if we're gonna be able to find that Midnight Sand. Hmm, I'm not seeing any of this sand. There are a lot of biomes, so I'll continue checking them out and see if we can find any sand. Okay, now spiders are attacking me. And I'm still not finding what we need. Oh boy, oh, that's bad. Okay, you know what? I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Let's Let's go. Oh, please tell me this poison runs out. Okay, it does, but we gotta get out because I have no more food. I was not expecting to get poisoned like that. I guess we're gonna need to check out the other dimension.
Bam. And let's head into Everbright. Very cold looking place off the start. This almost looks like that midnight. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. Boom. Midnight sand. We found it. Awesome. Oh, but this tool doesn't work very well here. Okay. I guess I'll just deal with that for now because I, from my understanding, we don't have any other uses for this sand. And you know what? What I can do is, boom, I can vein mine it, which uh, really helps us out. Okay. That should be enough for now. Midnight glass. Look at that. It looks so, so cool. I really, really like it. Let us have a look at what we have made here. Wow. Look at this. And you can step on it, right? Oh, perfect. This glass looks absolutely insane. This is definitely one of my favorite glass variants I have ever seen by far. And we do kind of have this edge portion around. I'm thinking we can just add some uh, deep slate brick slabs. Bam, looking good. And then we'll fill in the glass. Wow, that's looking so, 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 so good. Yeah, I'm waiting for a little bit more glass to smelt. And while I'm doing that, I do think we should just add a, another door here because it's gonna make my life easier. I should have done this the whole time, but I feel like it's gonna be good to keep just in general. And we are going to replace that with some spruce logs and we can add the door, boom. Perfecto, very nice. And technically we could leave it like this so that we can have the entrance be pretty simple. We'll have to design it. So we'll still have stairs here like we did before. I think we can try this carpet thing. And since I don't have a sheep farm yet, I'll just go out and shear some sheep, I guess. Here we are. Give me your wool, fellas. Ooh, and these guys regrow their wool so fast because they're just eating the grass. That's really nice. Okay, I've gotten 31 wool, which is a pretty good amount, I think. And now all I really need is some purple dye. Uh, now I do believe we can mix blue and red to make that. So that works too. I can find any purple or red flowers then. I got some flowers. We should be good to go back home. Okay. Boom, a bunch of purple dye. And I think I need to dye the wool first and then we make carpet with it. So let's dye about half just so that we don't overcommit. And let's see how this looks. So I basically just want to cover. Oh, and oh, can I not place this on blocks that don't have anything I thought I could? This is not, not bueno, folks. It looks like the only way I can do it is if I place it above another carpet. Hold on. I luckily have more. It's possible this will still work. So if I do that, no, but you can't even fall through it. What is this? What was I thinking? Okay, now we do want it to be easy to lead animals down here. So we should probably break this out first of all, and maybe even make the stairs double layered. I'm just gonna break this out. You know what? I'm uh, placing it here and I'm leaving it here to commemorate this absolute fail. We can just fill this staircase in like so. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's our animal farm ready to go essentially. Now what I'll do is add these separations and uh, let's see, we probably want a spot for our horse actually. So we could have one like so for Zeus. And then we're gonna definitely have a cow and a sheep farm, which we could try separating like this, even though it might be a bit uneven. I could be fine with that. So horse, cows, sheep, and then we got pigs here. We don't really need too many pigs, but I'll extend it to about here. There we go. And then you know what? I will just fill this in, but that's just gonna be room to grow for other animals, really. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we need to start bringing animals over here. Now we could manually do so, but we do have the option of using waystones. And since I already have two, we should be good to go. I uh, will easily be able to transport all the animals we want to. Let's just grab wheat. And I guess I 
have not gotten any carrots, so we're gonna need to do that, but I'll do that later. All I need to do is place a waystone here, and we're gonna need to place one where the cows are, and we'll just be able to transport them directly. Before we do that, though, we do need fence gates in this area, don't we? I think we can just use spruce ones. There we go, and there we go. Oh, boom, that's one, that's two, three, and four. And we're just gonna do this with the other animals as well. Pigs, right, pigs, okay. Okay, that's the pigs done. And now we just need to do the sheep. That's sheep number one, just two more to go. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, so we got four sheep. And that means that we've got four sheep, four cows, and four pigs. We also managed to create a little spot for our horse, which we can make use of right away. Down we go. And in here, boom, perfect. Oh, also, I'm hoping wool carpet can work, yes, on walls. It does, that's good news. Okay, cool, so we've completed this farm and now we uh, have animals growing here, which is great. I do want to finish at least the next layer of our house here. So we should figure out how to do that. We're gonna wanna use more deep slate and spruce. And I also did want some glow berries. So it might not be a bad idea to head down and grab some of those. And then we'll probably need to get more spruce as well. Okay, from what I understand, jungles have a lot of lush caves underneath them. So in that case, let's try to find a jungle. We're probably gonna need to find one anyways. It's nice to, you know, have different biomes that you already know of. I'm gonna grab Zeus and off we run to what I hope is a jungle. Let's do it. We're in the jungle here, although I don't think it's a huge jungle. It's at least a small chunk. And you know what? Maybe we should just bring Zeus home, actually, if we can. Let me try this. Boom. Oh, perfect. So that way I can just head back here and we can go mining underground. Here we go. We got azalea flowers. So there's definitely lush caves around us. We just need to find exactly where. But also, it seems like I see some kind of a structure on my menu map. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It's just a mine shaft. Okay. But uh, here we already got some cave vines. So that means, boom, we got glow berries. Yeah, so we can collect all of these up. I got 17. That can probably be enough already because if we start growing them uh, for our house design, they will uh, kind of exponentially grow into more and more glow berries, which we can keep harvesting. And since we did all that work, I will also keep a waystone here for lush cave slash jungle. There we go. Perfect. So now we'll just get uh, spruce wood like usual. All right, that's all the wood we're gonna need. Oh, and I just got a carrot from here. I don't know. Oh, wild carrot. These are carrots. Cool. We needed those. Okay, we are back. So let's see what we can do here. We probably want to increase this design three blocks upwards as it is. Bam, so that's this built up three layers. Now, before I do anything else, I wanna see what it'll look like if we go ahead and add some deep slate stairs, first of all, and then if we add some glow berries, like so. Yeah, I don't think I love the stairs. I think I'd like it if uh, there were slabs better. Honestly, I think we could probably just get away with adding a layer of deep slate bricks, like so. And then we probably want the slabs to be placed about there with the glow berries hanging down like so. I think that's gonna create a cool effect. Okay, so I've set uh, the vines up. Now, the fact that it's looking ugly right now really makes me wanna get started on the next layer so that we can fix that. So you know what? Maybe that's what we're gonna do. And we'll just do three more layers. Oh, there we go. That's a whole second layer built for us. Now, I do think we might be able to play around with umbran planks a little bit here, or umbran wood, rather. And we can use it for the roofing. And we can probably go with the good old stairs. Stairs. 
And I'm already out of this stuff, so we're gonna need to get more. Here I have the saplings, but I don't have any bone meal, unfortunately. So I'm gonna end up needing to hunt some skeletons in the nighttime, probably. But while we do that, I'm seeing a lot of endermen on our map. Now let's see if we can get anything good. Smite for looting too. You know what? I was hoping for some kind of looting and we got it. You can come over here, my friend. Goodbye. That gave me three enderpearls. Nice. Hey. Oh, okay. I mean, we already got even more than seven enderpearls. We have some more in our base, which I can check on. So let's see. Nine enderpearls. Whoops. That seems to be all we have. And we also got the blaze rods. Perfect. Nine eyes of ender. Not bad at all. You know what? We should also try to make a backpack if we can. But it seems like it specifically requires rabbit hide. So yeah, we're going to need to collect some of that. All right. Well, let's get on Zeus here. And I figure we should start hunting the ender portal. Uh-huh. Looks like it's pointing us... Oh, man, that broke. <laughs> it's pointing us northwest, though, so that's where we shall head. Let's make sure we're still on the right track. We are, although it's leaning a bit more to the west now. Oh, and it's taking us backwards, which means that we have already crossed the stronghold. That's amazing. Alrighty, I think I've kind of located it because... You know what? I'm not even going to grab that. But it's kind of bounced back and forth just now between right around here. So I think we should teleport our friend Zeus back home. And we are going to get to work getting to the stronghold itself. Okay, there we go. There's the stronghold. Now, I have pretty bad flashbacks from our last video, but I'll get through it. And also, there's skeletons here, which is perfecto. Hello? I spy. Yes. And I just saw the stronghold. All right, we're going to break that. And there's already two eyes in here, which is not bad at all. Boom. We just need five more... Oh, whoa, smithing table, eye armor trim. Cool, why not? We should definitely play around with some armor trims. Might as well. And there's a spawner here. Break that. What do we got in here? Oh yeah, here we go. Look at all those enchantments. Might as well grab them. Oh, and there's another eye armor trim. Uh-huh, and here we got the main kind of area for the stronghold. Oh, there's another ender pearl. Some diamond horse armor here. That's nice. Ooh, diamond gloves with mending. 0.75 damage increase. And because they have mending, they'll basically be permanent. So that's kind of cool. I think it's a good time to head back to the actual portal, set our waypoint there, and then as soon as we want to, we can fight the Ender Dragon. Boom. Perfect spot and portal. There we go. And I shall sleep off the night. I'm also level 30 again, so we should enchant something. Let's see. Feather falling by any chance? No, just protection three. I should have checked the other enchantments. Let us bone meal some of these trees. Oh, thank goodness it's growing. Oh, and I guess it doesn't like to grow next to one another because that did not work very well. Let's see if you can grow four together. Yes, you can. Oh, beautiful. Oh, the tree is too big and cannot be one hit. Oh, that actually fully messed with it. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Well, it's safe to say that we got a very good amount of wood very very fast. So back to work we go. Okay, here we go. That's what I got for this bit. And you know what? Better than I was hoping for. All right, so that's the roof filled in. I'm curious how this is looking from below. And the verdict is we're looking like we're a witch hut. You know what? It's okay. The vines are growing, which is nice, but we definitely need to add some details. First, I'm thinking of adding a slab layer all around to kind of fill all this in. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, so that is the slabs fully filled in. How are we looking? Not bad, but we definitely need to add in some detail being windows and maybe a patio, stuff like that. So I think we should get to work carving that out. So we'll make panes out of the midnight glass and let's see how well this can fit. Pretty cool. We can also add some little elements like that that'll tie it together. Bam. Huge window. Maybe we can get away with adding stairs like so. I think we can. So I think over here, we might also be able to get away with doing a big window. Pretty 
good. We'll keep it as it is. Yeah, I think this is good. So now we should start working on that second floor. We would want a staircase going up to the next floor. And you know what I kind of want to do? I want to have like a um, rounded stairway. So we would have a pillar of something here. Maybe I can get away with using umbrin. We'll have to see. But we would essentially place it up to here. And then we would just begin a staircase. Okay, and that should be it. Now we are on the next floor, and I guess we'll set up the same exact floor design. So just these framed oak planks and deep slate bricks. That's the floor filled in. Okay, anyways, I feel like we might be able to fight the Ender Dragon really shortly here. So what, we needed either four or five more Eyes of Ender. There we go, we have two more. I think we actually have enough, unless we literally need one more, but I'm sure we can find one along the way, no matter what. So I think we are good to go in terms of heading into the end. But if we're gonna fight the Ender Dragon, we probably want a bow with a bunch of arrows or infinity, and then the armor could definitely use a bit of upgrading. Now, my favorite way to get levels early on is just mining quartz because it's really, really accountable. I figure we should head into the nether again and, you know, test our luck with finding quartz. And along the way, we can get some glowstone, which works out pretty nicely. Okay, now I could mine with my pickaxe, but I could also try to mine with my silk touch shovel. Oh, beautiful 49 glowstone just like that. So we should return... Okay, enchantment-wise, what can we get? Obviously, we want to get infinity, but we got to prioritize getting good enchantments on everything. So let's see. Protection for leggings, good. Power four bow. Oh, just power four, but still good. Blast protection, no. Unbreaking, meh. Maybe we want to enchant another diamond sword because just smite and looting is not too great when you're fighting stronger mobs. Unbreaking three. Boop. Sharpness four. Okay, good. Let's see. Unbreaking, protection, and aqua affinity. Not too bad. Power three. Meh. Protection three. Unbreaking three. Not too bad. Room to grow, but at the end of the day, even full protection three is good enough for us. Oh, <gasps> infinity. Oh, no way. Oh, perfect. That makes our life so much easier. Okay, well, that means that we are definitely ready to fight the Ender Dragon. I think we should just go for it. Let's port over to the Ender Portal. And uh, maybe I'm heavily underestimating this guy, but I don't think I am. I don't think we can really get more ready right now. I think we're good to go. Oh, boy. Okay, so there's definitely a different spawn here, which I kind of like. I don't like the fact that we have to build over, but as long as we don't stare down any Endermen, we should be okay. You know what? We can probably take out some Endermen just for their Ender Pearls real quick. Oh, and look at the center. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. It's starting. It is very, very dark in this biome, which I'm going to have to deal with by using these torches. Let's try to get a couple more Ender Pearls before the Ender Dragon gets summoned, which it's just about to do. Oh, boy. I think that should be enough. Golden Apple. Oh, no. I did not mean to make you mad as well, sir. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, sir. I apologize. Oh, let's not look at any more Endermen. There we go. Let's just take out these crystals. Might have gotten all the crystals. Let's see. And boom. Got her. Got her. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, with the experience and everything. Let me pick these up. Oh, yeah. That's definitely one of my favorite things in Minecraft is getting the experience after defeating the Ender Dragon. Now, that also means that we probably completed a quest here. Yes, we did. Totem of Void Undying. A choice reward here. Two beds or spectral arrows. I don't really care for either of them. I'll just take the spectral arrows. There are some bosses here. I don't know if... I think I've defeated each of these in separate playthroughs, so they're not as much of a priority to me, but we could definitely still check them out. Yeah, so we've defeated the Ender Dragon. Oh, and the egg just fell into the portal. Okay, there we go. We got the dragon egg. Beautiful. Can we make any items with it? Doesn't look like it. That's fine, though. Just the dragon egg itself is good enough for me.
Oh, I found a peaceful village. Oh, that's so nice. I almost feel like this is the first village we've been to, other than the one we spawned in. And there's a waystone, which is great. Wow, Eleanor. And you know what that is in reference to? Our first Better Minecraft home name. It was called Eleanor. Yeah. Should I rename our home here? Maybe I should. I don't know why I came up with this. Dralia, that's the name of our new home. Anyways, we can put this down anywhere, really, but I'll put it there for now. We successfully did what we had to do. And now it's up to us as to what we want to do next. Now, I did have a few adventurous goals I wanted to do other than the villagers. One of those is definitely going to the other side. And I think we also need to make a warden helmet, actually. Yes, we need a netherite helmet plus a reinforced echo shard plus a warden upgrade. Oh boy, that's going to be tough. So before we go on a huge excursion to get that done, I do feel like we should get some villagers going and, and set up the different professions we wanted to. Now, it's not going to be easy, but I think we can do it. The question is, how do we want to actually build the space for the villagers? I almost feel like it could be cool if we embedded the villager trading hall into the mountain and then had it kind of sticking out so we could see the villagers from the outside. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. This is like a natural little entrance that we can use. So that's good news. And transporting the villagers is actually going to be pretty easy with boats and the village that we just found that we have a waystone in already. Okay, so we're going to need to prepare some materials and I'm using a guide made by Lazian Farms and apparently per villager you want a certain amount of materials. How many villagers do we want to have in our villager trading hall? I feel like eight is an acceptable number and obviously we are going to prioritize including the alchemist one, oceanographer two, cultist three. So that means that we have five additional slots and I think that'll be enough. So in that case we're we're gonna need eight of each of these items. So boom, eight trap doors. We need eight pistons, which we actually did pretty good with. There we go. We need eight levers, eight redstone we have, and then a bunch of building blocks. Okay, with that, we should be good to get started. Temporarily, I'll just cover this in some oak planks and I'll light the area up. And then we could definitely have some stairs going up higher here. And I'd say this is probably a pretty good height. Let's see how much we can get away with clearing out here. Bam, so here's the opening. Yeah, so we're good on space. I think we should just kind of start building it and figure it out as we go. I don't think it's going to be as perfect as we can have the villagers right here because we need to be able to face them ourselves. So they'll probably have to be pushed back to around here, something like that. Okay, so I'm starting out by breaking in a pattern just like this, because this is gonna be the area where the zombie's gonna be. This is the area where the villagers are gonna be. And we can have as many of these as we want. We want eight, so one, two, three, four, and then we wanna make four more. And now we are gonna have to start building with the building block of our choice. But again, I'm having doubts about the oak. It feels so boring. Maybe we can go with quartz. You know what? I feel like that kind of symbolizes some Greek gods or something, and maybe the villagers can be some special Greek gods. Let's turn these blocks of quartz. Ooh, there's mossy. That's interesting. How about we turn some blocks into the mossy variant just because it can add some variety? And then the rest, I will make some normal quartz stuff. There we go. So we need to build these walls a three high each, I believe. And then you connect them above like so. There we go. And then we add a row of blocks behind this. And then we go one back and we do it on this level here. Now we add pistons. Bam. Okay. And then I think we need to add redstone here. Boop. And on the outside here, we should add a layer of quartz again. I did decide to make this stick out a bit just because I figured that would look cooler. And I'm going to add a double platform here because this is where we're going to be standing when we trade. And the levers are all going to go here. There we go. What we want to do is place the trapdoor and do that. Boom. Perfecto. 
This is actually even easier than I thought. Uh, we're already at the part where we can bring the villagers in. So that's awesome. This definitely looks a bit different from the previous villager trading hall that I did in the sense that the levers are right here, but that does also make it a lot easier to set it up. So I'm not too mad about that. And Dralia, no, 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 that's the new village, Eleanor. And from here, we can bring these guys over. Okay, now we push you in very gently and we're done. Perfect. Oh, we did it. That means we can cover this up. Boom. And now we'll just have to get the zombie in here, which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. And we essentially want to get him inside here. I'll probably end up making a stairway around the mountain like here rather than going inside just because it works better for us. And oh yeah, so we need to now place the profession blocks here, 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 here. I would say right now I'm only interested in some librarians and some farmers. So that's what we can get. So let's do two composters for two farmers. And then we need a few bookshelves so that we can make three lecterns. There we go and let's place composters there we go farmer number one farmer number two librarian librarian and librarian and now we can make the three special blocks we need to make an alchemist table pretty simple smelt this up and here we go alchemist table and let's see what this one looks like Oop. oh yeah look at that marvin the alchemist he's looking cool now let's get our next villager which is the oceanographer with the aquarium bam aquarium very easy to make. I do know you can actually put things inside this aquarium. So we'll probably make one for our base, but for now, keep it simple. Boom. And look at that. Irish is our oceanographer. Look at how sick he looks. Wow. Five emeralds for one water bucket. Not very good. Eight kelp for two emeralds. That's really good. Like my rewards for that. And then we got the occultist with the enchanted basin. And this requires just some basic amethyst cluster stuff. So I'm hoping we have that. And bam, enchanted basin. Let's see what uh, the occultist looks like. And I think I have seen these fellas before. I just don't remember what they look like. So exciting for me too. Okay, here we go. Occultist. Oh yeah, Edmund, you're looking cool, pal. Look at that. He's selling tinted glass for emeralds or amethyst buds for emeralds. Well, we got our villagers here, which is just awesome. We're going to need to get better trades on some of these guys. But other than that, we are looking good. Okay, now we've got to kind of finish this design to make it look good within the mountain because right now it's not looking the best. I do have some ideas of what we could do though and that's using some umbran wood and then also we want to make a staircase here probably starting about here. Boop. There we go. So that's a staircase made. I will make it look better in a moment. But then here, what I think I want to do is go into the wall a bit. And then I want to add umber and logs. There we go. So now it's kind of embedded into the mountain. Alrighty. What can we do to make this look better? Here's my idea is to add glass around and then fencing as the railing. That way we can kind of still see the villagers. And then around this, maybe we can make use of some more glowberries growing, for example, or something like that. Perfecto. And then we probably want some fencing made out of umbran. Let's see what this will look like. There we go. How are we looking? Quite all right. Quite all right. Okay. I've kind of placed some random grass blocks with glowberries. We'll see how that'll end up looking once it grows. We should probably add some trapdoors, although, hold on. We'll probably just add them like this. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. But we actually, oh, this guy switched professions. How did that happen? I don't know, because maybe I didn't lock it in. Okay, we got to change that. There we go, perfect. So we want to lock these in right away. Okay, let's get ourselves some potatoes. And the good news is that fortune works on them, so <laughs> we can get a bunch really quickly. And I will give you wheat as well as carrots. There we go. He's going to get upgraded. Perfect. And then this guy, we're going to give him potatoes. Just a bunch of taters. There we go. These are really good trades. It'd be nice if we could lock these in because these can give us a bunch of emeralds. Is there an ocean near us? Uh cold ocean there. Will we actually be able to find kelp? Let's have a look because if we can, that's going to make our life even easier. Right? This is kelp, please. Wait, kelp plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what we need. Okay, I got like three stacks of kelp, which should be good enough. Okie dokie. Here you go. Definitely going to upgrade that now. And we maxed that trade out. What do we have here? 
Tinted glass. You know what? I feel like that's not even a bad trait to have. Boom, boom, boom. So that's going to upgrade this fella. What do we got here? Bubble coral, brain coral. I mean, that's pretty random to be honest, but maybe that will have some use. Soul soil for emeralds. That's nice. Okay. Now these fellas are going to need to do better for us. We want to get mending. That's for sure. <gasps> Mending. Oh my god, I almost skipped past it. Okay, nice. Oh, and this guy refreshed his trade so we can get a bunch more emeralds easily. Oh, perfect. And then I just need to get one book. So you keep your trade right there, please. Mending. Yes, the trade's still there. Beautiful. Boom. So that should lock him in just like we want. And now to make this a little bit more profitable for us, we're going to take a zombie through here, 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 here. And let's see, through to here. And everything should be fine from this point forward. Uh, name tag. You know what? We'll name him Frederick the Zombie. That, that you know, helps us out. A good guy. Here we go. I see a zombie on the map. I'll just get him to follow us. Hello. To here, sir. Yes. Further. There we go. And... Name you Frederick, and uh, we should be all good to go. Now, we have it so that it'll work, but we do need to get weakness potions. I actually kind of forgot about that. We'll be able to get those, no problem, though. So, if we want fermented spider eyes, we need regular spider eyes, first and foremost. Here we go. There's some spiders still around here. Since we have so many additional levels, we should probably try to get a looting three sword really quickly. Hmm. Reroll. Oh, that's so cheap. Reroll. 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 Reroll, reroll. Oh, and it uses lapis, which is fine actually. Sm Skulk smite. Okay, that's fine actually. I'll take it. Okay, you know what? Looting two, and then I'm just gonna enchant another one. I look, I don't care. We'll go mining after this. How about that? And break. It. No, I don't know anymore, dude. There's soul stealing, which I will take in case. And there's looting two. Okay, boom. So. Fine, we can combine these. Okay, there we go. And then, you know what? Maybe I can combine these. Yes, I can. Very well then. And then we can even throw the sharpness four on there. And we have a pretty powerful sword. I'm gonna name the sword Silk. Do I know why? No. But that's what I'm naming it. Let's try to hunt some spiders down here. Aha, finally I hear some spiders. And there are spider eyes. Perfecto. Hello. Six spider eyes. That's enough, isn't it? I mean, yeah, that's more than enough. Now I just need brown mushrooms and sugar, both of which I should be able to get. And I have two brown mushrooms. I don't really need more than that right now, I would imagine. So that's good. And then sugar cane we have growing all along the river here, which it would actually be good to harvest it either way. So let's head over. Give me that. Give me, give me. Boom. Three fermented spider eyes. I have nether wart, gunpowder, and bottles. Oh yeah, and we also need to make the brewing stands themselves. I think I did, yes, I got extra blaze rods, which is perfect. Okay, we can just place these here for now, but we should definitely find a place to set up our brewing stands. And I will quickly brew these weakness potions up. And now we just turn them into splash potions. Bam, weakness potions, okay. So we should basically be able to start this process. We just lower this fella down. The zombie should come right over. Now we just splash this fella and give him a golden apple. And uh, we just have to wait. So we'll leave that as is, but that process is now started. Well, I do want to go adventuring, but real quick before that, while we wait to get our mending books, we can quickly finish up a design for the windows on the top floor. Mm hmm, I think that's a pretty good layout, and then we'll just have to fill it in. There we go. To be honest, though, I do almost feel like this whole wall should be glass. So, yeah, I'm gonna rip this out. Okay, some would say it's a bit overkill, but I think it was unnecessary. Look at that. And bam, one emerald. Would you look at that? I thought we might have to do it a few times, but nope. <laughs> now let's grab our emeralds and let's get this trade done. Hello, mending. How many do we want? Well, basically as much as we can get. Yeah, there we go. Let's start putting mending on all of our gear here. 
boom, full mending on pickaxe and all of our armor. And we can definitely get more levels while mining for ancient debris. So let's do that. Okay, finally I made it to Y level 15. Aha, here we go, first piece of ancient debris. How nice is that? Another one. And another one. And by another one, I mean another vein. And another one. <laughs> second one and then there we go i think that is going to be enough ancient debris for us for now because i'm at 32 which would mean i can make eight netherite ingots and i think that'll definitely be enough for now we can also put mending on our shovel axe collect up these scraps and we can make eight netherite ingots boom with that we can make a smithing table boom oh no 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 i forgot this whole 1.20.1 1. thing we need the the special smithing upgrade to be able to do this don't we well we gotta go to a bastion then how exciting is that also if we're gonna do this i wonder if we should make like a diamond shield for example i totally shouldn't do this but i i'm sticking through with what i'm doing let's head into the nether there we go there's a bastion remnant i think here's a chest and i think that means that's a chance at getting what we're looking for uh-huh nothing good there oh oh my goodness okay oh we just got it nice on our first one now my favorite time which is mining and not having to worry about a thing and i'm gonna head down and strip mine Whee! Yeah, that's a lot of diamonds. Okay, here's an eight vein, and this will probably set us on diamonds for a little bit. We're even overflowing on inventory space, which is always a good sign. Let us craft these smithing templates. And what we can do is just repeatedly pop these in. Boop, 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 boop. And boom, we have 11 now. Helmets, boots. Well, now that we've got that done, we have the option, again, to fight Ignis or to go to the other side. Now, honestly, I'm pretty afraid of the other side, but I also feel like it's going to be really fun to explore this dimension and do everything in it. Uh, we do need a Warden Helmet, which requires a reinforced Echo Shard, which requires these Warden Carapaces. We're gonna have to fight a warden i know that ancient cities are most common in mountainous areas and we are in a mountainous area which is a good thing the search begins i guess now hold on i see that there's like orange birch leaves here i'm wondering oh if i can self touch them it seems like i might be able to these might very well change as i walk into a new biome which would kind of be sad but at least i got some of them and we can return here if we want okay back to mountain finding mountain hunting okay what do we got going on. I actually could teleport back with a waystone and bring Zeus with us, but while there's a bunch of water around, I don't want to do that yet. And a bunch of things are happening here. We got that structure, and we also got these leaves from the Jacarana tree, which I actually never thought about, but they could be an even better fit because, I mean, they already come purple, and these can fit our theme pretty nicely. Let's have a quick look to see how we fare up against the monsters here, and you know what? I'm just gonna end a pearl over. Oh boy, hold on. Maybe I should have prepared a little bit better. I regret my decisions. You know what? I'm going to eat a golden apple in case. And I'm going to put my shield on. Okay. Now I feel more ready. Oh, these guys have a bunch of health, don't they? Yep. This really is no joke. Is there something inside here, by the way? No. But there are barrels. And there's a bunch of gunpowder, which could come in handy. Here's some loot. Oh, and change a golden apple. Are you kidding me? I will take that. Okay, you know what? I was thinking about that in the back of my mind, that if I got an enchanted golden apple, this would be worth it. And you know what? I got one. 
Oh my god, we just got two. I did it, folks. I did it. And you know what? I'm glad I did. Because I got two enchanted golden apples. Are you kidding me? Oh, and I see mountains over there. I don't know how we're feeling about this mountain here, but I guess I'll check it out. So I will drop down. And you know what? I'll just take this chance to swim down. And I see some stuff on the uh, mini map that might indicate some weird dungeon. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a dungeon. So, I mean, this is good and bad, I guess. <laughs> so we got a little hidden room. I've never seen this before. Diamonds. Okay. Random pickaxe. Uh-huh. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, I like how me trying to find an ancient city just turned into me looting a random dungeon that we found underground. But that's just what happens with better Minecraft. That's that's what it is. Okay. I'm curious what happens if we go up because I still see the illagers. I'm trying to be very careful because if a vindicator comes down in the same hole with me, I might just die. Okay. Okay. It seemed that I don't... I, Oh, I hear them. I hear them now. Oh, and I see them. There they are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here you are, fellas. Random sketchy trap door. Great. Gotta love it. And a dispenser for no reason. Oh, all right. This is why you don't trust anything. What do we got for loot? Golden apple. Okay. And so it just keeps going down. I wonder if there's like a main entrance for this. I don't know if there is. And the better question was if there's any ancient city down here. Whoa. Look at how much we can see underground here. There's some structure there. It looks like there's a cool lush cave area there. I'm literally seeing no ancient cities though or like skulk really can you believe that okay okay so <laughs> i mean i guess we should go find another mountainous area up we go and i should be able to dig out this way yes i can so i guess i will keep adventuring and skulk is in this pack right i spelt it wrong yeah i mean there's skulk and everything i did read something about ancient cities spawning under snowy biomes often or snowy mountainous biomes specifically so we could check that out. I don't like how far out we are here. I mean, I guess I can use a waystone to get back. I might just have to waste this waystone and we'll call it far because it's just far and there's nothing here. And hello, fella. You're, you're kind of out of place here. Oh, oh excuse me. But gotcha. Okay, so let's head in this direction and see if we can find anything. Well, hello, beautiful biome. Look at these white leaves. Is this uh, Jacaranda wood still? What is this? Cherry block? I don't know what this is. Cherry. Oh, interesting. Snow blossom leaves. Those look pretty. Okay, so this is kind of a mountainous area over here. Not ideal, but that's what we can dig into. Also, I see something interesting over up here. So let's check that out first. Hello. There's a villager here. Oh, Russell. Interesting. So this is a village then. Okie just uh, some basic things here. Oh, there is a chest. Straight fortress map. Okay. You know what? That might come in handy. Let's go down here. Huge ravine type of opening. Okay. I'm not seeing any signs of a skulk. The search continues on, I guess. We got a pretty big mountain over here, which has some potential. I don't know what the best entrance is going to be. This might be a good one, though. Oh, I see Skulk. Are you kidding me? This is my first time seeing Skulk. Okay, well, now that I'm here, the reality is kicking in that uh, the Warden fight is going to be tremendously difficult. So if we're going to fight him, we're definitely going to try to avoid coming into contact with him at all. And we also probably want to make sure we have the best gear possible because right now I have protection three instead of protection four. I don't have uh, the max power on my bow and we don't have an elytra, which could probably be helpful in getting away. So I think it might be a good time to set a waystone here. In terms of getting protection, I could just use the villagers to do that. Let's do it. Oh, protection four. There it is. Okay, so now we just gotta lock this trade in real quick, which we can do with paper. And boom, lock him in. And then we subject him to very friendly transformations. <laughs> There we go. And now it's about finding that elytra. Yeah, so all we need is a bunch of building blocks. I have ender pearls. And you know what? A waystone would be nice. Boop and bop. Perfect. Oh, look at you. You're still not discounted fully, are you? Well, 
Boom. All right. Anyways, now that that is being done, we should probably head into the end and do some searching. Now, I'll probably collect some more ender pearls, and that's going to help us travel around. Okay, that's probably enough. Ender pearl. First of all, we should mark this as portal. And now we walk around. We got a little kind of ship here, I think. And the pearls. Phantom membranes. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll take those. Totem of Void Undying. We should probably equip that. Uh, power 4 book. We can use that on our bow. Perfect. Oh, whoa. I found something. I think... Oh, no, it's not even what I thought it was. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's actually a working portal here, too. Are you kidding me? I see ender crystals over here and multiple end crystals. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a boss here? I'm genuinely so confused by what's going on here. I've never seen this ever. Ward armor trim. Look at that. Chest warden upgrade. Wait, are you kidding me? We just found the warden armor upgrade. No way. Oh my god. That is actually a really good find. Should we enter the portal? You know what? Probably not. What I will do though is I will create a waystone and we can name that city. So we have reference to where it is. These trees are really cool. What is this growing off of them? I'm kind of curious. So it's called a penumbra. Penumbral bulb. Oh. And that barely did not fall. Can I break this whole tree? I can. Endurian. Very tough fruit gives resistance. Okay. Did any saplings drop from this tree? It almost seems like none did. There's a structure potentially over this way. Let's have a look. Whooper. What's a whooper? Oh, oh my goodness. I can't go back now. Uh-oh. Oh, so it's just it's messing with you then. Okay. I mean, I did the right whoop. I'm, getting, I'm being whooped. Uh, that... Two barrels, look at this. Coral, dislikes water. Oh, is it? does it work like sponges? We should pick those up and test them out. Rift tight shard, teleports you upwards when used. Whooper, um, you know what? We can take this home. That's actually really cool. I, I hope we can use it. Well, is this gonna whoop me out of existence or what? Like, let me eat a golden, oh, ow. Excuse me, can you stop hurting me? Oh, oh. What was that? Let me see if I can try to take that thing out from outside because it didn't seem to take kindly to me swinging at it. Hello? Yeah, you just can't hit it. I think you need to avoid it. Oh, all right. Oh boy. Huh. Give me that. Gives levitation. What? Can you use it for anything? Uh, reaching Marula. I'll hold on to this for a second. Let me uh, get back down and continue onwards. Okay, I, I'm gonna do something a bit sketchy, which is walk through some of this because that's the quickest way to keep progressing here. It's this thing that's hurting me, I think. Damage is nearby entities. Look at that. I removed it though. Ooh, and we got a end temple here. Now, I do know we gotta be careful with these other temples because I don't know all of what is in them. They have different kinds of traps. All of it's trapped. Look at that. A bunch of ender pearls and eyes of ender. End stronghold map. There's something over here. A oh, whooper. There's the whooper. Oh boy. Oh, I can actually hit him though. As long as he doesn't hit me, I don't think he teleports me. So interesting because before it was not working in our favor. There we go. Whoop. Oh yeah, there's another one. Ankler shell fragments. We actually want those, so that's cool. Oh, there's two now. Take these out. Slip gravel. Is there anything below? There it is. Oh, ankler shell chest plate. Look at that. Makes you lighter, absorbs radiation. Mm hmm. Got more of these ankler shell fragments so we can make a shell plate. It doesn't really seem to be a way down. So I'll break through. All right, perfect. What is in this place? We got some ores. Not bad. Oh, no, there's another chest. End city map. Oh my god. Now it better be a good end city. I'd have to go north and a bit east. It seems like it may literally be pointing me to that structure that we saw that was like an individual end city tower. Well, there's another one of these ships here, so it could have another map. Um, there's one chest. I'm guessing there's a second one though, right? Oh, there we go. And bam, end city map. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oh, okay, this one's different. Let's follow this one. So it's telling us to go east. Oh, I'm hoping for the best here, folks.
Oh, here it is, I think. Oh, but it's so small. No. Okay, well, either way, let's have a look inside of here. The city at the end of the game. What could happen? Well, we did get some free shulker boxes, which I guess is a plus. Perfect. I got hit. So we can check what's in this tower. Although, um, it might just be the exact same thing. There is a random diamond block that I'll try to grab. Oh, boy. I guess I can't. You know what? I don't really care about the diamond block. Okay, here we go. Diamonds, why not? Uh, pretty decent pickaxe, which I guess I'll take. Okay, pretty okay loot all around the board here. I think it is time to get out of here. No, wait, hold on. This is a whole other ship over here, right? Because that would mean we can get another end city map. Boom, there's another end city map. Okay, unfortunately, it just gives us the same location. There's another ship that way, which could signify a new end city. Let's see. I'm so glad I figured out how to get these. Ooh, and we got a smithing template. Look at that. Coast armor trim. Uh, but it does look like it's leading us to the exact same city, which is to be expected. So, you know, it's fair enough. I see something loaded on the map over there. Mm-hmm. It is what I thought it was. So this ruined citadel, I know it definitely has the boss here. Ender Guardian, I'm pretty sure that's the one. So if we want to fight him, we can. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're fighting the- Oh, okay, hold on. Let me collect myself before we fight this thing. Here's what we're doing. Golden apple. Go. Go. Boom. Blocked. Got him. Void core. Yeah, so you can summon these void runes with this, which is pretty cool. I figure we should just try to fight the boss that spawns here. And with our enchanted golden apples, I think we should manageably be able to do this. Yep. Okay, here's the trapdoor to the final boss. So let's set our waypoint here and boss. And we can return to here in a moment. But that also means we should get our preparations in order. And while we're back, our villager should should now be giving us a good trade, I think. Yes, that's what I like to see. So one, two, three of those. I think we are basically ready to fight this boss. We're gonna need to be on our best behavior though because if we make more than one mistake, I don't think our chances of survival are very good. Let's go for it. Oh boy, um, I'm gonna eat a golden apple in preparation. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, he pulled me in. That's good. Okay, so whenever he pulls us in, I just shield. I do have ender pearls, which should help with stuff like that when he pulls me in. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. And change a golden apple. Quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and I can shoot him now. Well, that, okay, I got him. Oh my God. So that gives us Gauntlet of Guard. Um, and this actually gives you armor when you hold it in your main hand. So that's pretty good. I do wonder, can we enchant this thing? Yeah, you can. Okay, I think we've earned an Elytra by this point. Let's see, another little end shipwreck. There's an end city map. Uh, will it actually lead us to where we want? I don't know, but okay. It says to go south east so let's do that i guess and i'm not seeing it i'm seeing it oh my god honestly i don't even know how to feel about this whole trip here because well i know we've done some of this end exploration stuff in other mod packs and i'm afraid that it's too similar so in this direction we have the ship getting there's a little bit sketchy but we should be okay Here I am, folks. There should be what we need in here. Boom, Elytra. Boop, give me that. On that note, I can set a waystone here and say, end city. We're gonna teleport right back to home. So we're mostly ready here. The only two things I would do is enchant our Elytra with mending and unbreaking, and then enchant this thing with sharpness. Knock back to sharpness four, looting three. That's actually not bad at all. And I'm pretty sure this is unbreakable, so we don't even need unbreaking. Okay, well, on that note, I think it is time for us to approach the warden. I will say, if we want to fight him, it's probably a good idea to brew up some night vision potions. And there we 
go. That's gonna be very helpful. I will quickly head into the end just so that we can grab some more pearls. And I also wanna use this as a chance to use our new gauntlet of guard here. Uh, might as well just drink one of the night visions now. Oh, it's so much better. We can pull enemies in and then let's try to attack with it. Not bad at all. That should be enough pearls. Okay, so I think we should go fight the warden in the skulk biome we found. Hello? Is the warden gonna spawn? Hello? Oh, there we go. There we go. It spawned. There it is. Okay, hold on. I have to have some type of an escape. I also need my enchanted golden apples. Where did it go? Oh boy. There it comes. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna enchanted golden apple. It was a bit of a waste, but that's fine. Let's go. Have my shield on. I'm just shooting at it. Here we go. More shots. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Way too much health. Oh, it has way too much health, dude. This is crazy. Okay, heal up. We're just gonna have to keep ender pearling back and forth. There we go. Getting some shots on it. Go up, 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 up. Good. Good. Okay. I'm all the way up here now. Oh, this is so much better. But he can still shoot at me, unfortunately. Oh my god. Careful, 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 please. Take shots at it while we can. Preemptive ender pearl here. Nice. And there's a centipede chasing me now. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god. Oh, I got it. Oh my god. Whoo! Dude, that was way too stressful, man. Okay, we got a heart of the deep, a warden carapace. I don't know, it's weird. You need four of these for a reinforced echo shard, which is how you get this armor. Yeah, I mean, I guess let's uh, make more golden apples, first of all. And I'm actually gonna need to get more of the apples themselves, but that should be easy to do with some tree farming. And it does feel nice to have an elytra, even though we don't have fireworks yet. And I'm up to 25 apples already, which might be enough. Boom, 21 more golden apples. We have a total of 30, which is not bad at all. I'd say that we should just go for it and fight another warden because, I mean, nobody's gonna do it for us, right? Okay, let us get ourselves some more ender pearls. I've gotten to two stacks of ender pearls, which I think will be enough for now. Now, you know what else we could do, which I didn't mention, is we could try to get some totems of undying. I do see there's a woodland mansion there, and I know we've definitely ran into more. So I'll set a temporary waypoint, and we can grab Zeus and run over there. I think that's a good idea. Oh, there was a block here, and Zeus stepped out. That's funny. Good thing we still got him. Here we are. Let's quickly bring Zeus back and uh, get him out of trouble. I think that's a good thing to do. And now we can enter the danger zone. I'm gonna skip through most of this and just try to get to the evokers. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, we are doing good. I can pull in the, the vexes, look at that. Oh, they can't even stop me from pulling them in. Oh, that's so nice. Well, we got uh, the Tunnel of Dying, so let's equip that. And now I'm feeling a lot better. Okay, you know what? I think that might be it for now. I did get out with a good amount of Totems of Undying. I'm pretty happy with it. So I figure we should head on out. Okay, well, I mean, with that, we should probably head in for our second Warden fight. Here we go, here we go. This is not scary at all. Let's spawn it in. Have our ender pearls ready, of course. And we spawned it over here last time, right? So let's just stomp around a few times. Yep, here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it doesn't get any less scary. Let's start firing at it if I can even reach it with my shots, which I'm not doing successfully at all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's coming, but I've kind of figured out how to shoot at it now. I'm just abusing ender pearls. Oh, all right. He got darkness on me. That's what I was afraid of, actually. Okay, that's not good. This is bad. This is very bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. Be nice if I could see what is happening, wouldn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's one totem gone. Oh my god, I got him. Holy moly. Whoa, he dropped three? Wait, 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 wait. This might be a lot better than I thought it would be. If I look here, boom. Okay, so we already have four of these. Wow, that makes things way easier. Okay, so we do need an echo shard, which can be found in an ancient city. And that will get us to the point where we can make the helmet. So uh, yeah, I guess our search for an ancient city is the next thing we need to do.
Okay, here's another random cave entrance. Ugh, more skulk. I see a lot of skulk in that direction. So I'm going to set a temporary waypoint and let's head over to this other area. And it is a very mountainous area. So I think our thoughts are valid. What trees are these? I feel like we should pick them up. Magic log. Okay. What is that? You guys see this? This is some kind of a structure, I think. Okay, let's see if there's some merit to what we thought might be a building or what I thought. I'm not going to put the blame on you guys if it's not at all what I thought it was, okay? Hold on. I'm seeing some good signs around here, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not... <gasps> no. I found an ancient city. <gasps> oh my goodness. Guys, I've been searching for this for so long. So how do I avoid something bad happening here? Because if I open the chest, both of these get activated, right? So I might have done something there real smart there. Swift sneak. That's good disc fragments we're doing pretty good so far i'm quite impressed but yep oh boy okay chest oh, echo shards that's what we wanted and with that we can already enter into the dimension i believe and there's the portal right so we would use that which is awesome we should still loot around a little bit more especially because we could definitely use another echo shard uh-oh uh-oh okay it's fine. Nothing got summoned. Break that. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Nothing here. What about here? Yes. There we go. Echo shards. I mean, I think we got everything we would need from an ancient city other than swift sneak, I guess. Okay, hold on. We got to be careful here. Oh, you can find warden things here? Are you kidding me? I do think we're going to end up summoning the warden here if I go for this. But what we can do is kind of plan an escape. I think that way is a good escape. So yeah, if anything goes wrong, I'm just spamming fireworks that way. And we're going to try to despawn the wither. Or not the wither, the warden. Yeah, all right, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. So we're just going to head out of here. Okay, we're good. Oh, man, I summoned a second one. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now, I reckon we should quickly teleport back home. And I'm just going to name this teleport W because, oh my goodness, we finally did it. But we want to make the helmet because that's what's going to help us actually enter the new dimension. And we need to make a reinforced echo shard. We need phantom membranes. Okay, bad news. I don't have any phantom membranes. Good news. We might be able to find it in the end. Okay. Oh, there we go. Phantom membranes. Okay, they are here. That's awesome. So if we find a few more ships, we'll be on track. And maybe we can even find an end city. Boom, right there. Let's see here. We got another elytra, which I'll take. And also maybe some phantom membranes. Nope, I guess not. We got a uh, spire armor trim. Cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got four, which is all we need to make the first piece. So we will stick with that and we can head home now. Back home we go. We want to make the reinforced echo shard, so we grab our warden carpuses. I don't know how to say it. And then, boop, boom. And then we just need one of these smithing templates. We can put that in and then our helmet. And boom, warden helmet. Look at that. Oh boy. That took a long time to make. But uh, I'm also excited because this means we can just about go into this new dimension. And let's see, before lighting the portal, you must first remove all skulk veins from the inner frame. After the frame is cleared, you can right click it with the heart of the deep that you got earlier. So all we need is the heart of the deep then. And you know what? There is one thing that I'd really, really, really like to get. And that is the backpack. I don't know where we can find rabbits. We do have have our map which helps us out i would assume that maybe in the snowy biome we can find some rabbits so let me actually firework over there and see if we spot anything oh i do see bunnies on the map that can pull them in look at this i'm right clicking <laughs> yep it's getting pulled in and bam oh i feel so bad about this i'm so sorry fellas okie dokie so backpack we just need some string which we've got and boom Finally, we made it. Oh, no, we can only either wear the backpack or the elytra. But you know what? That's not the worst thing because let me try something out. So if I equip the elytra now, oh, it, it has to have an empty inventory. So now we have to choose between an elytra and a backpack. For now, I might go with the backpack and we'll keep the elytra here. Okay, uh, W. Okay, here we go. Oh, the warden is still spawned here. That's, uh-oh. Uh-oh. From here, folks, we just, uh, boom. Oh, I guess let's, let's head in here. Okay. Well, we can see, so that's good. 
I don't know how we approach this, folks. I'm trying to set up a trap. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, that scared me. Shattered. Just dropped some uh, skulk bones. You can make a soul elytra. Look at that. How do we get soul crystal? Stalker. Ooh, that's scary, dude. And we probably should just uh, drink a night vision here. Okay, I looked into it a bit, folks. There is a structure you can find, I believe, called an ancient temple. And, uh, well, other than that, you just do some adventuring. And, I mean, it's kind of like the other biomes where uh, you can get some materials and make some interesting items, but there's not a crazy amount past that. There are random things that can spawn. One of them is the stalker. And uh, that brings us to the next subject, which is is this ancient vase okay so it's a very small percentage chance that it spawns when you break an ancient vase but uh, i'm a bit scared you know what before i break this one i'm just gonna eat a golden apple okay i got a golden apple back yeah because i don't really don't know what to expect yet i do see another biome there deep lands maybe we should try to head in that direction instead this looks crazy man oh my goodness okay look this is where it gets dangerous i really don't like that well i wish i had swift sneak to be honest might be a good idea to adventure through a few more ancient cities oh see there's a shrieker okay it looks like i'm gonna have to land here and i don't have any more fireworks i only have one you know what i'm gonna make a waystone here and um it would be nice if we could go around for a day or two and collect some sugar cane and gunpowder because that way i can feel a lot safer while adventuring yeah we already got some here Okay, and nighttime has come, which means creepers are gonna start spawning. So, I will take this time and very diligently hunt some creepers. <laughs> Well, the sun is coming up here, and I've got uh, about a stack and a half of gunpowder, which honestly is really good. And let's see how many fireworks we get. About five stacks, not bad at all. Ooh, I do see something on the map over here. I think this might be something like an ancient temple or a ruin or something. Let's set a temporary waypoint and have a look. The only piece of bad news is I really need to repair my pickaxe i do have a slight idea which is build an enderman farm and if we're gonna do this we probably want to set a little waste stone up in here and entrance just to make this easier okay good news i found an enderman farm design made by dash pum 4 and it seems to be a newer and easier design than i've seen before so the first thing is collecting the materials we need leaves oh yeah perfect echo leaves i like these a lot we're gonna grab a bunch of them Okay, here are all the ingredients we're gonna need. Pretty simple. Let's do this. So, end. And you know what? We can actually build this out from the starting platform, I believe. So if we head over here, we just want to grab our water and we're gonna pour it down so it heads to Y level zero. Down we go. Now we build 128 blocks out. And apparently we need to place water on 30 of these leaf blocks. So let's do it. Okay, there we go. That should be 30 leaves covered. So those have water on them. I never knew you could do this with leaves. So they're just leaves filled with water. Whoa. <laughs> and now we'll continue with this design. Okay, now we break this temporary platform. Okay, now we have to surround each side of these slabs with five layers of leaves. And we're just gonna fill this in. There we go, that's filled in. Okay, now the final step is we want a sweeping edge sword from what I understand. We can try to enchant first. You know what? Maybe we can try re-rolling a bunch. So let's see, smite five, no, sweeping edge three. <gasps> oh, we want this to be a netherite sword so we can put it on this one probably. Boom, netherite ingots, boop, there we go. And then Look at that, we can get a sweeping edge on there. Perfect. Alrighty, so with that, we should be able to head back to our new Enderman farm. 
And if we start from here and look at the Enderman, they should fall right in where we want them. Uh-oh, why are you falling there? Oh, it's because I left a temporary block, which is a bad idea. Hold on. Let's just uh, go for it and see what farming for a few minutes will grant us. Okay, I'm already at level 31, and I've probably been farming for a couple minutes. So, uh, yeah, this farm is great. Like, given the fact that it literally took less than 30 minutes to set up, I'm very happy with this farm. I think it's an amazing design. Oh, no way. You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. There's no way that there are dragons in this pack, too. We have to get fish. Are you kidding me? I did not know that we're going to be reunited with our dragons in this version of Better Minecraft. Okay, I got six rock cod. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, got him on the first one. And we can grow it. Oh, that's fast. I wonder if I should leave it up to you guys to help me name this dragon. If you guys do have any name suggestions right now, share it below. Anyways, let's get back to what we were doing, which is heading into the deep darker dimension and finding what we want, which is that ancient temple. Here we go. Set temporary waypoint. And I got to make my way there. And oh, we still have a long ways to go. Not ideal at all, folks. Oh, yeah, here we go. I think this is it. This is an ancient temple. Right. And this is where it also gets dangerous because there's a shrieker right there. There's multiple. Oh, the chances of a warden spawning are pretty high, I feel like. There we go. There's no more shriekers from what I understand. Okay, now, if we're going to break these vases, we should be careful because a stalker can spawn. There's golden apples. So these actually do have pretty good loot. Gold chest with diamonds not bad not bad don't really need that i don't like the fact that it hasn't spawned yet because now i'm actually getting scared there's nothing below us here is there oh, oh there is i didn't expect that are there more vases there might be yeah there are okay hold on and let's carefully try to check down here. That's a warden? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh boy, oh my god, I'm not ready, dude. Oh my god, I didn't even hear it spawn. Oh, and another one just spawned. Oh, this is bad. Okay, hold on. Let's try to make those despawn because I really don't want to deal with two wardens. Okay, I'm back. Is the warden here still? I don't think it is, actually. I'm hearing sounds that I don't want to be hearing. I don't see a warden, though. Hold on, let me see. Okay, I don't see any shriekers, so... Oh boy. Oh my god. I don't know why I thought the warden wasn't there. Okay, you know what? Hold on, let me try to shoot him from here somehow. The only thing is, isn't another one just gonna spawn just as easily once more? Like, okay, this guy's so hard to deal with. Oh, and another one just spawned. We have to cut our losses immediately. I don't know what I just... I just grabbed some item, okay? And let's grab whatever's here. Okay, and we run. Okay, let's find another temple. Okay, we have another one here, I think. You know what? I really should bring a hoe here. Oh boy, there's three shriekers. Oh my god! Guys, come on. You can't get mad at me. How do I deal with this? It, it, it's actually crazy. Another one spawned. Okay, hold on. Let me bring a hoe at least. And it seems like the warden's still there. So you know what? We might just have to deal with it. I tried finding another temple and I literally could not. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try to bow at it while golden appling. And if that doesn't work, uh, we might need to go gear up a little bit and then return. Oh, all right. Almost one shot me, of course. Nope, this is bad. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to place a waystone here. Why am I naming this? I'm getting out. I'll tell you what, we can make some potions. Get some more golden apples and just go in for some melee combat with a strength 2 potion and uh, probably this gauntlet because it gives us extra shield rather than damage. And then maybe even instant health splash potions for which we're going to need melons. Maybe uh, let's head out and hunt for some melons. You know, who doesn't love doing that? And that'll definitely be enough for all the potions we need on that front. And I am going to take advantage of the fact that it's nighttime to take out some creepers for their gunpowder so we can make splash potions of instant health. Oh, I thought that would go smoother. I used the wrong sword. There are our first potions ever done. And that is all of our instant healths done. There are our speeds, strength 
And finally, night vision. More golden apples wouldn't hurt either. Boom, nine more, perfect. Now I'm thinking I'm not gonna use my elytra here because having the backpack with extra potions is really helpful. And if we play it right and use our ender pearls, we should be pretty well off. So yeah, if we're gonna fight the warden and make it through the temple, I, I don't know if there's a better time than now. Oh boy, that's another warden. I was not ready for that at all. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is bad. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, the worm thing spawned too. There we go. I'm a bit better off. I don't have night vision, but I'm a bit better off. Come on. I got him. Okay, this one only dropped one warden. Carapace. And I'm just gonna sneak walk over to this temple. You know what we can do is carve out an entrance here. Hold on. Let me just eat a golden apple so I have absorption. I think another warden just spawned in there. Yep, there it is. There it is. Maybe it's stuck here. If it gets stuck, that'd be so amazing. Okay, I got him with my bow, which is fine. Did he drop more than one? Yes, he did. That's a good sign. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see. Oh, did that spawn one? It did. Same strategy, folks. Same strategy. I'm just gonna bow at him from here. That's uh, another piece of gear I can make, so that's great. Let's see here, Skulk Transmitter, what is that for? Oh, <gasps> you can link it to any chest you want? Are you kidding me? Now there are these vases. Oh, <gasps> they have enchanted golden apples, are you kidding me? I'm not seeing any more vases here. Uh, we do have this upper part, which we can check out again. We gotta be a bit careful. There's a shrieker up there. I don't know if there's any way to not have a warden spawn up here, but let's try. No, it's gonna spawn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know where it's spawning though. Mr. Warden, sir, where are you? Oh, he's right there. Ow. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I do have an idea of us potentially being able to trap him. I don't know if I can sneak up on him at all. But if I can just do this, for example, I don't think he can shoot me from there. Oh, this is definitely the most intense thing we've done. But once we figure out these little traps, oh, it feels so good. Oh my god, another one spawning. Oh no. Oh. Oh, this one's not trapped, folks. Hold on. Oh, it's working. I'm trying to figure out how that second one spawned. Because we did break the shrieker, I thought. Okay, let me try to build up. Okay, it's more or less okay. okay well, bad news. Um, the stalker didn't spawn from all the vases I've broken. Good news is I have nine of these Kara Paces things. So really, we only need three more to make armor. Oh, never mind. We have that in our backpack. So we can make a full set of warden armor. To be honest, I think we're just gonna leave the deep dark dimension alone for now. So I'd like to finally return on home. And I mean, now it's time to collect our reward which is getting a full set of this gear. There's the smithing upgrade. Yeah, so we can make more of these. Boom, we got four. And let's grab our echo shards. And now, boom, we can make three of these. And look at that, board and chest plate. That looks sick. Boom, cover me with skulk. Hold on, now, when I equipped this, it gave me speed. So I just got permanent speed now. It feels like speed too. Now that we've got the most important thing, which is the armor set, I think we should make like a little dragon pad. And you know what? I did want to build something on this cliff. So maybe we can have like a oval kind of structure here. Well, then the question is, how do we want to build this? This mountain cliff is shorter than the other one so we probably want to start the building from here and just have it meld into this cliff okay so for the design of this dragon pass we have a lot of the skulk blocks from mining through the skulk dimension and these can be turned into a lot of different variants so that's definitely an option uh, we also have the orange birch leaves which are fairly interesting you know what maybe we will line the rim of whatever we build with uh, those orange leaves that'll be pretty cool obsidian might be a good choice just because it's so solid and it's an ender dragon i think that'd be a really good base block to use so it's just up to us to get a bunch of obsidian Woo. okay that might be enough i got a lot of stacks of obsidian 
And our end dragon's fully grown, so that means, boom, it works. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh. Okay, you can have a seat, buddy. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So if we put obsidian into the stone cutter, we got some options here. It's so dark, it's hard to see. So here's what I say. Let's make just two stacks of those for a second. And let's see if we can try to begin laying out something. Okay, so I have like a little bit of a foundation going now. What's this looking like from below? You know what? Not bad, not bad. Okay, this is what I got so far. And um, I did accidentally place some of these, but then I realized that I would like to keep these kind of accidental placements and added more because I think it uh, adds to the kind of grittiness. So I'm gonna keep that. And now we need to create the outline. And um, I don't know if that's gonna be easy. Uh, we can make bone slabs and bone walls, but honestly, these don't look a lot different from some of the wood types we can get. You know what? I might be good with adding some of the skulk blocks as the walls here. I think that uh, might be cool. I would still like to have bone blocks though. And it looks like if we put this in the botanist's workbench, we can get a whole bunch of different variations. Okay, let's see. To make this thing, we need flower pots. That's about it. Other than that, we just need some wood. So I need clay. No problemo. We can find some of that. There it is. Boom, flower pots, and boom, botanist workbench. We can put that there. Let's see, there's some pretty cool types of bones we can make, like a rope to bone block, inscribed bone block, these reinforced ones. I think we just kind of uh, layer these around. I don't think there's any perfect way to place them or anything. Something like that. They're a slightly different color, it looks like, but you know what, it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, I don't know, something like that. Let's see what this looks like from the side and from below. I think it's a cool addition, I like it. I do kind of wish we had something kind of draping down as well. In fact, we can maybe add vines, like frostbite vines, for example. I think that would kind of stick with this white bone theme that we want. If we want these frostbite vines, let's head into Ever Bright or Ever Dawn. I don't know which one it's in. Ah, here we go, you see? So there are vines. These are not the ones we want necessarily. So it could also just be a dimensional thing. Let's try heading into Ever Dawn and looking underground there. Um, I'm not currently seeing any vines, which could do again with the biome that we're in. In that case, I wouldn't mind, and yeah, I'm gonna use a waystone for this because I can't be bothered, but I wouldn't mind creating an aether portal and seeing if uh, there are any vines that we can collect there easily. And we'll just add this portal to our little array of them over here. There we go. Water, boom, aether portal. Ah, what a nice little entry sound. Anyways, if we could find some white vines, that would be amazing. Okay, now there are caves too, which we can look into. Maybe we can find some of the white vines here. A lot of things are looking cool here, but I'm not finding the white vines that we so desired. Okay, so our attempts at finding some vines to use were kind of short-lived, weren't they? In that case, maybe we can just stick with the theme of using glowberry vines. So I'll collect these up and we can place them up top. Oh, I can't place them, can I? Since they're obsidian slabs, uh, it's not gonna let me place them there. Okay, I got one. Now I just gotta do the other ones. Okay, now we just have to actually bring our dragon up to the top of this dragon pass. And boom, looking cool, my friend. You know what we really should do is finish up the house and also make a storage because I'm really struggling with storage space. You can make a lot of things. Like you can make these flower boxes, which is kind of fun. I think we should make a few of these. Oh, and I also wanted to add the orange leaves. Um, we'd probably want this to border everything. So we'd kind of place it kind of like so. Let's see what this looks like here. That's kind of fun. I like it. Okay. 
Then we gotta add some flowers to these. I wonder if we could put saplings, like these rainbow eucalyptus birch, for example. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there we go. Just one of those there, one of those there. Oh, that's really nice. Now we probably want a lamp or lantern of some type. Um, do we want to do soul lanterns or regular lanterns, though? Let's just go with regular lanterns, I guess, because they'll give a warm look to the house, which I like. It also looks like if you put these in a tinkering table, you can make a bunch of different types of lanterns. Look at this. Okay, and you know what? I need more coal. I've been running out for a while now. I really need it. So I guess I'll strip mine for it. Oh, and my pickaxe is going to break. Well, you know, usually I just repair my pickaxe with the Enderman farm, but it has not been working. You know what? Maybe I'll need to like make a new diamond pickaxe or something and see if the mending works better on that. Okay, here we go. Give me a fortune pickaxe, please. Yes, I do need unbreaking on this for it to be more usable. You know what? I'll quickly get a villager trade with unbreaking. Here we go. Oh my Benedict, you legend. That did a good job. It, it took me less than a minute to get that trade. And boom, there we go. Locked in. And now, my friend, we feed you to the zombie. Alrighty. In the meantime, I'm impatient, so let's just put mending on our pickaxe and start mining right away. Okay, that's enough coal. Boom, tinkering table. Like we got big lantern, donut lantern, white lantern, doll lantern, purple paper lantern, and lantern. I guess the best way to test it is just to place them, you know? And we're gonna see which one we like the most. Yeah, maybe we'll just go with a little variety of all of these. Why not? Donut lantern, we'll put you here. <laughs> Burning coal lantern, we can put that there. So now we can quickly figure out the second floor situation because we have all the space and we haven't used it. So for our workbenches, maybe we can kind of put them all here, have furnaces and have this be kind of a workstation. And then for our storage, maybe we want to put it closer to this wall. Now, if we could set up the storage system, that would be amazing. Yeah, it might actually be quite simple. So we need a storage network route, I believe, for which we need some pretty basic stuff like these network cables. Uh, let's make all of these materials. And then we can make the storage network route. I think we might also want the storage inventory. Boom. This actually makes me think into this a bit more. Maybe we want to set up the chests all here because we have a bunch of kind of back room. Okay, let's see. I made some link cables and I also have these network cables. I don't know which one needs to go where. Like for example, if we do that, does this do anything for us? Oh, it is doing something. You might actually need to manually connect each chest. Yeah. So then you just need to use link cables and yeah, I guess you connect everything that way. Okay, and to get the cables over to this side, I will just hopefully go like this and then carry it over. There we go. And we should just be able to connect it. Boom. Okay, so theoretically that should be fully connected. And also we want to combine a remote here for sure, which we need a crafting remote for. It looks like the only thing we're really gonna struggle with getting is the sea lanterns. So let me just head out to the ocean for a bit to see if we can find an ocean monument. have found a monument or a temple here. It's hard to see in the nighttime. Yeah, it's a temple, which might actually have some lanterns. It does. Perfect. So we can just silk touch these. Oh, whew. I will probably just waste stone back because I'm, uh, I'm not in the mood to travel all the way back where I came from. Now we need to make an ender chest, which we definitely have the obsidian for. And the ender eyes are very easy as well. 
and two golden blocks, network cables, boom, storage, network root, and then we should be able to make the crafting remote, thankfully. And then I should just be able to shift right click. There we go, remote has connected to network. And now, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Anyways, we do need to cover this part up. And you know what, to have a little bit of fun, maybe we can use the skulk blocks we've been getting, or this turquoise, but I'd rather use the skulk. And there are a lot of variants you can make with this. We have polished, and then let's see, bricks. That's what I wanna use. We can cover this kind of like a vault. Okay, there we go, that covers it. Beautiful. And literally, you can put as many items in there as you want, which it's overpowered, okay? I mean, let's be honest, it shouldn't be in, in the game, but I'm taking it and I'm running with it. Okay, so that's been successfully cleared out. And I mean, that leaves us with an empty space here, actually. So we can kind of restructure this to be the main workshop area. So boom, tinkering station can go there. And I'm gonna move these over to match it. Oop. There we go, looking good. Crafting table can go there. Anvil, smithing table. Can also put one stone cutter here, even though I tend to carry it with me. Now I do need to build an auto smelter. I'm just gonna need some chest hoppers and furnaces. We also need eight chests, I think. Furnaces, we only need four actually. And it should work if we do something like that. Hold on, so we'd want the chest with the finished product to be here. We can do that. And then we would have hoppers coming behind this with furnaces, then more hoppers, <laughs> and then more chests here. Then boom, and I mean, that should be a very simple auto smelter setup. I do think we should make a little bedroom. Uh, where do we wanna put put the beds themselves. Maybe right here would be fine. It seems like a pretty aesthetic fit and I'll probably leave a space like so. I want another purple bed if we're doing this. Bam. So two purple beds. And then you know what else I want is to make an aquarium, bam. And the reason for that is that we can actually put things inside here. Now, I don't really have any coral or anything. So we'll have to collect some fish and stuff like that. And before I start searching for anything, I think we should check on our oceanographer. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So we can get bubble coral for one emerald, for example. That's a pretty easy trade for us to do. Let me just buy that out until he upgrades. Okay, he still just got a bunch of simple stuff here. It's fine though. Let's see what else he can offer. Yeah, I think we need a fisherman if we want anything different than this. Okay, we're gonna keep waiting to max him out. And by the way, we should do this with all all of these guys because I'm curious what their trades are. So I'll keep doing that while we're up to other things. Anyways, the point of all of that is that with this coral, I think, and fish, we should be able to place it in the aquarium. Oh, look at that. It places. That's so neat. Did I get any other coral? I just got a bunch of pink coral from this guy, but I mean, it's fine, I guess, you know? Now we need to get some fishies in there. So let's quickly scoop some of them up. Okay, well, we got the fish we wanted, so I think we should head back. Okie dokie. And now let's see how many fish we can put into our aquarium here. Boom, one. Oh, beautiful. Oops. Oh, is it limited to only one? That's good enough for me. That's awesome. And I need to smelt up some more food, which we can use our auto smelter for. Look at that, you can craft a fancy bed. Holy moly. You know what? Let's make a fancy bed. Let's do it. We're gonna need some more wool. Thank you, friends. And let's see here, if we wanna craft a fancy bed, we would need to make some sheets. So, boom, purple sheets. And then we also need cushions, which are made with feathers. We can definitely do that. So boom, and then boom, cushions. And now we should be able to craft ourselves a fancy bed. Would you look at that? And we can remove these now because obviously we've moved on to better things. It looks like they start out as that, but if we then click on these, boop, boop, <laughs> we can design our beds. Would you look at that? We can also make a table, which like, why wouldn't we? Um, let me see, we have the umbrin, and that means we can probably make it with umbrin as well. Yeah, umbrin table, boop. And let's see, is there like something we can put on the table? Oh yeah, purple lamp, that's right. <laughs> I'm making a purple lamp. 
boop. Oh yeah, I'm rocking it. What a beautiful bedroom. Okay, now that that's done and we got some base work out of the way, I'm not gonna lie, I would really like to finish getting full skulk gear and getting the skulk elytra because I think that is really sick. Also, what else is there? Trading post allows you to see trades with nearby villagers. Oh, let's make it. And let's see if we can put it next to our villager trading hall here. Uh-huh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I was also trying to discount all our villagers, right? So we need to discount this fella. Also, you know what? I'm going to make this network builder remote, uh, which is actually really useful because it lets you place any item you want that you have within your storage here. So for example, if I had it right now, I could just press this block with it and then boom, press here to place it down. So we don't have to keep entering our inventory, basically. We need to make these storage request tables and we should just be able to make four of these, right? Yeah, there we go. With that, we can make the network builder remote. And now if we connect this to our root, boop, connect it to network. Now we can simply left click and then, yep, there we go. By the way, I forgot to make a little brewing station. And I'm going to be honest here. I'm a bit too lazy to actually design it. Like we could do a much better job, but for now I'm going to keep it simple and we'll just add slow labs. Perfect. And then we should just be able to put water there. And that works out great. You're going down fella. My apologies. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're looking cool. Marvin. I'd almost leave him like that just because of how cool he's looking. Okay, time to head into the deep dark and finally get the final pieces of warden gear that we want. Now, if we're gonna do this, we definitely want some fireworks. Now I want gunpowder. I do think we should make a creeper farm. Now, luckily I have a guide, so that'll make things much easier. We need a bunch of building blocks and I think what we can actually use is the skulk cobblestone because it's it's really easy to get and we already have about half of what we need so we can head into the deeper dark yeah here we go just the stone stuff and I'm gonna quickly vein mine it because I want my life to be easy Okay, that's definitely enough. I got about 3,000, so yeah, that'll do. I also need a bunch of trap doors, so that means we need a bunch of wood. Can probably use spruce for this design. And how many trap doors is that gonna give us? Only 220, I need about 630 more. Okay. Okay, is that enough wood? I mine so much wood, guys. There we go. Okay, I got to 1,000, 200 more than I actually needed, but that works for me. I'm gonna work on making the rest of the materials here. Okay, I've got most of everything. I just need scaffolding, snow blocks, and carved pumpkins. I don't know which order we'll get them in, but let's get them. Here we go, snowy taiga. Maybe that's the direction we should be going in. Or even here, hold on. This is actual snow. Thank you. Here we go. We got some bamboo. Nice. And we need a good amount more than that. So hopefully we can find more. Here we go. Bam. We got all the scaffolding we need. And now we just need pumpkins. I do see some orange stuff over here in this woodland area. So let's have a look. Oh, these did end up being pumpkins. Perfect. I'm going to collect these up and we can return on home. We want to build this in an ocean and we really want to make sure this is surrounded by ocean according to the guide. So we have to find a good area for that. Okay, this might be a pretty good spot right here. We wanna go up 101 blocks with scaffolding. So we will do that. Bam, that should be 101 blocks up. There we go. I got the glass placed, thank goodness. Okay, now the fun is going to begin. And we are on Y level 184, which is perfect according to the guide. Okay, so we have to build walls up now. There we go, we uh, we built up the walls, three high. Okay, now we have to add water. 
There we go. We make a five by five square in the middle. Bam. Okay, now we're adding a bed. I don't know why. Okay, now we need to make some snow golems. And we just make 16 of these guys. There we go. 16 pumpkin guys. Now we got buttons all around. And we add trap doors. There we go. Now we have to go out 11 blocks on each side. Now we have to follow a circle schematic. Oh boy. Bam. That's one quarter done. And now I believe we just have to copy that all the way around. Boom. That should be the circle done. And now we just fill it in. And boom. It's all filled in. Now we have to build a two high wall all around. Okay, that's done. Now we add some slabs in the corners. And then from there, we have to continue a slab design every two blocks. Okay, I think I've placed all the slabs. It's kind of hard to tell with uh, all the clouds, uh, but I'm guessing we'll be able to check on it again if anything. Okay, now we need to make a roof out of trap doors. <laughs> so we will do that. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're almost done. We gotta do a few more things here. Place a fence, and then apparently we want to push the fence down with a piston. So we go like that, and boom. And now we just attach this like so. Okay, now we have to build out a roof. Now we just place torches every five blocks. Okay, we might be all done here, actually. Let's have a look down here. And also, I'll set a waypoint, Creeper Farm. And look, oh, look at that. Look at how many we got. Oh, yes. Now, I do need a sugarcane farm as well. Hopefully, I can make it in a pretty simple manner, but it would be nice to have one. Okay, I mean, I've gotten about two and a half stacks of gunpowder already, which is pretty good. We're not going to need much more. Now, what I'm thinking is we could literally just have the same type of design of having it along the river, but we can add lights around so that no ice can spawn, hopefully. First of all, I should definitely plant what we have down so it just starts growing so i think we basically want to do something like this where this just has an outline with glowstone and if it goes according to plan we won't have any more issues okay we're done with that i can already craft up some fireworks which is awesome let's see grab some potions and i'm gonna try to get some similar traps going like we did before but we definitely need to find an ancient city ah there we go here's another temple you know what we're gonna block off all the entrances oh and there is a warden on the inside i don't know if it comes in spawned like that or if it spawned in Ah! No, 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 I was not ready. Here's the deal. We can take this fell out. No problem. Got him. Okay. That's not it, though, because got a bunch of these here, right? Oh, there's the other one. Oh, boy. I'm going to attack this fellow from here. Hopefully that'll work out okay for us. Yeah, if you just block upwards. Gotcha. Give me the loot. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that's another one. Alrighty. That's exactly what we wanted to happen, folks. This actually works out just fine, though, because this is a good spot for us to attack him anyways. Gotcha. I think there's still one below us here, so that's not ideal. You know what? We should probably take out the warden underneath us before we do much else. So here's the plan. I'm going to golden apple. We're going to break a little poke hole. Oh, and we're going to summon another warden. Great. Don't you guys just love me being the best? Gotcha. Bullseye. Okay, now for this one over here. Where is this fella? Hello, I hear you. Oh, he just rose from the ground. Okay, I don't know where he was before that. Come here. Oh, no. How did another one spawn? Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me just take this one out. 
Oh, no. Where is that other shrieker? Here it is. Break that. Okay, run. Run. Oh, my God. Oh, it's right there. There we go. Look, I know it doesn't seem like it would be stressful because I kind of create traps, but it's still stressful. Okay, okay. And we can probably get away with breaking some more vases. Don't need that. Warden carp. Pass. We need that. Oh, Feather Falling 4 book, which I actually need. Thank you. I currently have nine Karapas things. <laughs> and I would need one, two, three. And if I really want, then four items so in total upgraded. So we would need 16, I, I think. I've never seen this. There's like little secret spots with more vases. Can you believe that? That's insane. We can probably check some more little corners. More chests, echo shards. We'll probably need those. Skulk transmitter. These are a cool item. I don't know, dude. At this... Oh, there it is. I was literally just gonna say, at this point, I feel like I need to spawn in the stalker. Take that, buddy. Oh, you're... Oh, it's not even... Okay, it does a bit of damage. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, finally. There we go. I got the soul crystal. Oh, okay. We got it. Oh, my goodness. So, I guess I will just try to get four more of these. Oh, wow. I have a lot. Never mind. We just need phantom membranes. And we have everything we need. We're out of here, folks. Finally, that should be enough. I think we can get out of here now. Okay, let's go ahead and craft everything. So we definitely want to make the upgraded elytra. I don't know if we can make it and keep the enchantments. Let's try though. So soul elytra. If I put this one in, no, we lose enchantments. So I'll just do it with another one. Boom. And then we want more of the shards. So we want reinforced echo shards and we want as many of these as we can get. Boom, five, that is definitely good enough. And other than that, we just need to provide the items in the smithing table. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, it has uh, more durability, so it kind of repairs this a bit. Once we do this though, there is no way to repair this other than mending. I mean, it is what it is though. We'll just have to figure that out. Boom, so we got the pickaxe. There's the shovel, axe, and I mean, look, we gotta make uh, a warden hoe to finish it off, don't we? Okay, that means, <laughs> means I need to upgrade it to netherite. Let's melt this up. While that's doing its thing, I would like to enchant our new elytra. So boom, unbreaking, and then we can quickly buy ourselves a mending trade using our new really cool trading table, by the way. Boop and boop. There we go. And fellas, we are looking good. Right now, I do have the priority of trying to find this Ignis boss. If we have time, I'd love to fight him. There's not much we can do, I think, other than head into the nether, nether far, and then I'm just gonna have to firework around. Oh, uh, hold on. I think I might have found it. I might have actually found it, a burning arena. I swear. I was just thinking in my mind, like, you know, like, is this, what What do I do if I just don't find it? So it's, I would just be so sad. And then I found it. It's, what, what a good day. So to fight this boss, we first need to summon it using burning ashes. Uh, and we get those by fighting the minions of this boss, which we can do, no problem. You know, I'm ready. Honestly, with everything we've done, I don't think we're gonna have many issues here. And let's just get some good hits on it. With our new gear, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know. I'm not too scared. Maybe I should be a little bit more scared. Okay, it's doing some stuff. I can't really hit it during this time, it seems. Yeah, can hit it during like one phase. That's it. And you're gone, buddy. Yep, there we go. Burning ashes. And I think we need to take out the second guardian too. So we'll do that. Yeah, so during that time, you get a couple of hits in. Then we run. Come on. Come on, pal. Come on. Yeah. Boop. Oh, okay. Wrong, wrong timing. My bad. There we go. Boom, two hits. Gotcha. There we go. So that should mean we can summon the boss itself. Let's get fire resistance real quick. And we actually got magma cream from our trading villager, which is amazing. Magma cream. We need bottles. Doo, doo, doo. We're not going to need more than that. Uh -huh. Okie dokie. So I should be completely good to start bringing this up. Bam. There we go. Fire resistance. That's going to be helpful. I can grab some strength and speed as well. And I can even grab that last instant health that I had. Boom. With that, folks, uh, I think we're ready to head into a fight with the final boss, Ignis. I'm going to drink up fire resistance before we even enter here. And let's go. Let's switch. Swiftness potion, strength. I'm gonna have our enchanted golden apples ready, as well as ender pearls, and let's go for it. There we go. I think he's spawning. 
Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I need my ender pearls back on my bar immediately. Thank you. Speed is really helpful here. Boom. Got a couple hits. Oh, fire resistance. Beautiful. Wow. And he's literally just poking holes through the ground. Okay. So it looks like we can really only get like one hit in whenever he attacks. My swiftness ran out. Okay. Swiftness potion again. This is really helpful. <gasps> okay. If I have one piece of advice, use swiftness against this boss. Oh boy. I don't know what's going on anymore. I literally... What is happening? There's a random piglet here. <gasps> he's... Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't... Oh, 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 oh. I knew nothing about this. I swear I knew nothing about this. <gasps> okay. That's good. I got some really good hits in. I don't think I want to use regular golden apples. It might take away the effect of the enchanted ones. Oh, bringing ender pearls was like one of the best ideas I could have possibly had, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Hold on. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Good hits. Very good hits. Can I... Can I... Oh, oh, oh. What is that? What is that orb, dude? Oh my god. What is going... No. No. Oh, dude. <laughs> There we go, two hits. You just gotta circle around this guy. That's that's what you do. Confuses him. He's a noob. He is literally a noob though. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why is he healing? Why is he healing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. My, my health literally has only dropped to like a few hearts once, and then that was a half health. And I literally have more energy to go on top of it. I'm fine. <gasps> we got him, folks. We got him. Let me loot whatever that is. Igni Ignitium ingots. Look at that. We can make uh, some type of an advanced shield or sword. The incinerator. Dude, are you kidding me? You can also make, I think it's an armor trim or you can make gear. That's pretty cool. Maybe we should try making the sword though, because that's pretty cool. Look at that. The incinerator. Hold right click for three seconds to charge. When released, summons a flame strike in the direction you are facing. Back to Dralia we go. Boom. And bam. We can also do this to any sword we want, really. I feel like we should just do it with a fresh sword. So diamonds, stick, and boom. Another red sword, which we can then upgrade to the incinerator. Dude, you're kidding me, man. Come on. If you right click, I think it does like an explosion thing. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. 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 Okay, and I'm pretty sure that actually can explode items too. Anyways, everybody, that's it. We beat better Minecraft literally within 50 hours. I'd say we did real good. Leave a like or you're not a fan of our dragon.